Hello and a very good afternoon, good morning, welcome to Crafters TV, my name's Ben Mosby and well you know little old me, as excited as they come, uh, but today's launch party is literally going to be off the charts, to quote the words of somebody not too far away from me in the studio, because what we've got coming up on this show is we've got brand new goodies for you, we've got sneak peeks, and actually we've got previews of things that we're not really supposed to be bringing to you today, but do you know what? New Year 2021, New Year's resolution, I think, just let's be a little bit naughty. We're hugely excited about the goodies that we've got to bring to you on the show. Brand new crafters kit, brand new sub box coming up for you a little bit later on, which I can't 
cannot wait to see the contents of, because I've not even seen inside it yet, and also a brand new stamp and die set, which you are going to absolutely love, which we're giving you a sneak peek of today, but we're not supposed to, because it doesn't actually officially launch until tomorrow. It's one of those shows where I'm glad it's not me and anybody else because I kind of feel like I could get in trouble. But seeing as the boss is here, I'm feeling a little bit better about life. Sarah, this is all over to you that we're doing these naughty things, I think. Yeah, don't worry, Ben. There's nobody's going to tell you off. Nobody's going to tell us off. Oh, yes, uh, I can say hands down. This is the biggest show of 2021 so far. <laughs> yes, it is. And you know, you know it's a big one when I pull rank and say I'm coming in to do this show. Ben, the first launch party of every month, we have our brand new monthly box. And honestly, this one is off the chart. Now, I know I say this every month because don't you agree, those of you that have been in the programme for 32 months now, that literally every month we just keep getting better and better and better. Now, Ben, you and I just launched yesterday that fabulous technique of the stencils on top of the 3D folders. We did. This month's box has more exclusive designs. I'm going to say that again exclusive brand new not available any other way completely exclusive in this box designs to go with the, the the box kit program that we do so if you want a little way to dip your toe in the water if you want to try the stenciling and inking technique this is the hit to go for it with honestly ben can, can i just show them what's in it well I, but i tell you what before you do, go on, let go me on. just tell you, there's over 300 elements inside this. If you're already part of this community, if you're already buying the boxes, you want to get the next one, absolutely you do. But like Sarah said, if you're brand new to us, these boxes are phenomenal. Already, 10% of a massive stock has gone. It's $24.99 across the board. Uh, that is the price per kit. I mean, I've got the list of, of what is in here. I can break it down, the 300 elements, right? So this is what it is, right? 24 card blanks, 24 envelope blanks, three stamps, three 3D embossing folders, six stencils, nine lots of ribbons, you've got 10 um, self-adhesive um, dew drops, you've got, uh, sorry, 100 self-adhesive dew drops, 100 uh, self-adhesive gems, you've got cards, you've got papers in there as well, over 300 elements and the ability to make 24 cards and then some. It's easy for me to list it all out for you, but you can see the exciting hands <laughs> on the other side of the studio. Just open it, Sarah. Um, can, I, uh, can I ask though, Ben? Yes. Have you done a one of these shows yet where one of these boxes is sold out on the launch day? No. Because I have. I have been here and done the new monthly box and we've literally sold out of them in the show. So when Ben's in, 10% of the stock's gone. That is all of the stock that we have available for us to sell off this box. You know, there will be thousands of you over in America in the subscription program with HSN that'll just be getting this delivered. If that is you and you've had yours delivered, I want to know how excited you are. Are you as excited as I am? What have you made with it so far? What are you excited about making? If you're watching anywhere else in the world, this is your one and only chance to get it. These boxes come in, last a couple of days and then they're gone. We never ever make them again now are you ready for me to walk you through everything that's in it i'm going to get it open here and i'm going to walk you through it right now the key with all of this right is the embossing folder and stencil concept so if i open this up then can you see you've got one embossing folder yes and then two stencils so you've Amazing. got a background stencil and a stencil that goes over in this case the beautiful butterflies from that folder so that is going to make you this sort of design here with those butterflies they're just gorgeous now it. need to put something into perspective ben okay the embossing folder and two stencil combos that we launched yesterday they are $9.99 in the UK, and in dollars, they are $12.99, $12.99, yeah, so $12.99 each. So it would have been nice for us to put one in the box, wouldn't it? It would have been incredibly generous of us to put two of them really in the box. Really generous. And we have put two of them in the box. Well, that's good. Because you've got in here this beautiful vase of tulips as well, right? So you've got another design that's your vase of tulips where you are getting this, the um, embossing folder and the matching stencil and a background stencil too. Very generous of us. There is £20 or what, $24. There's your box paid for. Yeah. What is ridiculously generous of us is Don't. to include a third one of these. Come on. Right? So now bear in mind, everything else in the box is completely free. 
You're buying those two, everything else comes as a total bonus. It's only because we produce tens of thousands of these that we can do these at this price. It's your way to give this a try. Now you've got the beautiful poppies. You've got the poppy stencil in this wonderful trellis background. Ben, stencils like this would be 3 dollars I know. If you went out and bought them individually, but you get the two stencils and the matching embossing folder. So that is your third one in there. So now you're talking over, what, £30, $40 worth of embossing folders and stencils. Then, as Ben so eloquently said, you get 24 different card blanks and envelopes. Absolutely. So there's, what, 12, 15 quid dollars worth to start with? They're included, right? You've got the dew drops, which you guys all said you were absolutely loving, so we've included Gorgeous. them in these few boxes. You've got the gems, you've got the little stamps to round out, you've got your thinking of you, thank you, happy birthday. You've got your ribbons that we always put you in there. Then we've got the collection of beautiful papers not only the papers, but you've got all those lovely background papers and all of the matching coordinates as well to go with it. So, I mean, it is, it, I mean, what would you pay for the set of papers in that? You know, it'd be another $5.99, $6.99 for the papers, again for the coloured papers. So, in terms of value, like I said, we do these boxes as like a, a sampler, taster, trial range. We could have said trial range with one set of folders and stencils. We've done it with three folders and stencils, so it's actually less to buy this. To be honest, I would buy the box just to get more kits stocked up on and then yeah. get these for free. We, then you're getting £30, $40-odd worth of embossing folders and stencils for free. I've got tons of demos, folks. Um, even, if the demo, even if the stock runs out, I've still got demos to go. I might have to do extra show to get through all, all my demos. I've got so much to show you. I can't wait to get demo with this. I had an absolute blast yesterday on the launch day show. Every technique I showed you there, you can be doing with this box for 20, under £25 or $25. And let's face it, Ben, who's actually paying that? Because very few of you who are watching, you'll all be members in the club. You'll all be getting your club discounts. Make the most of it. Absolutely, and if you're a platinum member, well, you could do the maths on this. Johnny and his abacus, he's working it out in the um, in the gallery right now. Twenty four ninety nine across the board. If you're a platinum member, that's another twenty percent that comes off it. I mean, seriously, nineteen ninety nine. Are you kidding me? This is unbelievable. And already, right, everybody, everybody saying how much they're glad uh, the uh, the box is here. Um, uh, Jean on YouTube saying Ben and Sarah are being naughty already. That will be fun. Well, you know, we are going to be even naughtier in a minute. You just just hang on. Uh, the boxes, says Anne, just keep getting better and better. I don't know how they do it. Uh, Pam says, hi, Sarah and Ben. Just ordered mine. Well done, Pam. Excellent. You're going to love it. Sarah on Facebook, not that Sarah, another Sarah, says, already ordered my box. Looking forward to getting it next week. Uh, Alice saying, Sarah, you are right. I've been in the programme since it started and I've loved every <gasps> one of them. Thank you for doing this for us. Since it started, so 32, 32 months worth. 32 months. Oh, do you know what? There are, I, I love it when I hear from people who've been in the programme that long. And please, instead of me telling everyone how awesome it is, will you tell them in the comments how awesome it is? Because it's our way. We do so many products here at Crafters Companion. Embossing folders, stencils, markers, dies. We do stamps. We literally across the whole range of paper craft products. And every month we do one of these boxes introduce you to a new technique a new concept whether it was when we launched flower forming and you got this and you got this to try it whether it was when we did our uh, die cutting and you got like edgeable design or creative card design we introduced you to that honestly though ben i would say the stenciling and 3d embossing folder technique is so unique and clever I wanted everyone to be able to try it. That's why we did a box with it. And just from hearing the comments, it sounds like people are loving this. This could be one of the top boxes we've ever, ever done. Absolutely. It's flying out the door. I'll give you a stock update in a second. But Valerie's saying, I've occasionally purchased duplicate boxes of these because I love them so much. Uh, for holidays on YouTube saying, good morning from sunny Florida. Wow, two days of Sarah. What a great start to the year. I'll give you a little heads up. She's here tomorrow as well. Um, and Mary's saying, I need additional paper pads for that. Love those. Get it while you can. Listen, if, if you're one of those people who've been there since the start, uh, if you're one of those people uh, like Valerie, who's got every single one, no doubt you're going to be getting uh, this next box. If you've just started, I don't know, over the course of the last year and you've loved these boxes so much, you'll be getting this one. If you're brand new to us here on Crafters TV and you you just want to get a bit of a start, you want to dip your toe maybe into the world of craft, these are absolutely perfect. But let's impress on you again, you've got to get these whilst they are here because they are flying out of the door. 
we got a big stock, right? Because we know how popular these are. 20% of the stock has already gone. You've got to get in nice and quick. You've seen the value for money that you're getting, which is amazing. So please, please, please get yours now uh, whilst you can on these. Um, we'll just stay with them as well. And these are due into the warehouse um, in the next couple of days or so. Um, so make sure you get yours because as soon as we get them in the warehouse, we will be uh, getting these out to you. Of course, there's a bit of congestion at the ports currently, but literally in the next few days, these will be in the warehouse. As soon as they are there, they are out to you and you are going to have these. As Sarah was saying, I'm getting really excited. As Sarah was saying, get in touch with us, please, on the usual Facebook, YouTube, on the um, email as well, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. It's so easy for us to be able to stand here and tell you why we love these boxes so much. But listen, if you are one of those people who've, I don't know, got 5, 10, 15, 20 of them, tell us why you love them so much. T tell everybody else why they should be getting their hands on these boxes. And even better, if you've got any pictures you can send in to us as well, we would love to see what you have made from the previous uh, boxes. Get those pictures in, get those testimonials in as well, because I think it's so much better for other people when they hear from you guys who've already used them, why you love them so much and why you're going to be ordering your box again. Phenomenal value, $24.99 across the board. I'll tell you, these are flying out of the door. Super, super busy. Get yours, do not miss out. Right. We're gonna do um, a demo with the box very shortly indeed. However, this is where we get a little bit more naughty, um, if, if we can, because, well, Sarah's here, so I feel like I'm covered. Um, but tomorrow we're supposed to be launching something brand new, right? But we're so excited about this that, well, I thought this was going to be a bit of a sneaky peek, right? I thought this was going to be a sneaky peek, but actually um, it's going to be a, a little bit more than sneaky. It arrived with us today and we're not supposed to be launching it till tomorrow, but we're going to do it now because... <gasps> oh, because... can I tell them, can I tell them, can I tell them? This was, one, this was one of mine, right? So you know when I talk about the product development days and we all come with ideas and we're... I'd heard of birthday flowers, right? So I know, for example, certain months of the year are connected with different flowers. Whether that means that's the bouquet of flowers you send your mum on a birthday, or whether that's the, um, the floral notebook you buy your friend on her anniversary or whatever it is, there's flowers associated with every month. And I thought, if we did the flowers, worked with a world-class illustrator and had each of those flowers beautifully hand illustrated but specifically hand illustrated for colouring Ben so big nice open spaces spaces to get your blending in so they've been designed to colour with either your water-based pens or your alcohol-based pens or your pencils so world-class illustrator illustrated all of those stamps and then we've put together a complete collection so once you buy the library that is you set for life whatever the occasion you know whether it's a sympathy card you need to make one month or whether it's a birthday card or a congratulations card or an anniversary card a couple getting married in October you want the October flower whatever it is you can personalize exactly with the right flower Ben the illustrations are off the chat Sarah who's worked with us on these has done a phenomenal job go on I'll let you show them now now I've told everybody how awesome it is <laughs> Sarah it's one of the <laughs> most excitable people I know get a look at get a look at close oh, look at those <laughs> Have you ever seen a carnation, Ben, as beautiful? Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. We need a, we need a special, it's coming in. Okay, the Zoom's on. coming. It comes. It is coming. We need a look at that carnation. Ben, can you not just, well, maybe it's you can't. I can't wait to colour that carnation. Look at, can you see what I mean when I say it's been drawn to be coloured? Yeah. Perfect carnation. Oh, and by the way, guys, we've done you all the dyes to go with it. Because obviously, you're not going to sit and cut out something that detailed. You could make a whole bouquet of carnations, though. I need to calm down, Ben, because we're only on January. I know. Right. Absolutely, we are. I'll be quiet. We We've got to do another 11 of these. But the, the whole point is as well, like Sarah was saying, how amazing to be able to match up the month with the flat. And it may well be, let us know when your birthdays are as well. Get in touch on the uh, comments on the, uh, the Facebook as well, because we, let us know. January, carnation. And like Sarah was saying, the first thing you will notice how big these are, how much fun you're going to have um, colouring these in. And the fact that you get the corresponding um, dies to go with these stamps as well is absolutely phenomenal. But I love the idea as we go into February, um, 
with this gorgeous, gorgeous primrose, the fact that yes, you're gonna be making these for people's birthdays within that month. How nice to be able to make, how nice to be able to make a card, you know, a primrose card, and then be able to you know, get a bunch of flowers um, connecting with that month to go with the card as well. But amazing, like you said, if it is a celebration, if it's an anniversary, whatever it might be, to be able to match up the flowers from that month with this particular collection. As we move into March, you have got the gorgeous, gorgeous daffodils, of course, um, St. David's Day, of course, in March, National Flower of Wales. So again, you know, if you're celebrating St. David's Day, this again will be absolutely perfect for that. This is other thing as well, you know, celebrating those national days, you've got the flowers for each and every occasion. But again, let's focus on the artwork here once again. <gasps> let's focus on how gorgeous this is. And wait like till you, you said, see me colour that. Ben, yeah. wait till you see me colour that. And also, not only am I going to colour it, but Easter cards. Yes. Or, do you want to see what I'm going to do, where I put it? Easter boxes. Uh-huh. How gorgeous are these? I just think daffodils, and this is the thing, you don't have to just use them. They could be just beautiful floral stamps to colour, which are always popular. But the fact that it's then, connect, whether it's for Mother's Day, for example, that's 22nd of March this year in the UK. I know you guys have it in May in the US. Um, but yes, they are just, I can't wait to colour them anyway. I can't wait. Oh, that's why I'm doing this and a whole show as well tomorrow. Oh, you've got a whole launch day show tomorrow and I've got some extra demos today. <laughs> I'm going to be so tired by the end of tomorrow. You are, you really are, Ben. Tires me out working with Sarah, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got to go jogging with it tomorrow. I was going to say, haven't we got a 5.30 start in yeah, the morning, Ben? Maybe we'll scrap the jog. Uh, right. No way. No way. <laughs> now, we move We move into the best month of the year, as far as I'm concerned, because yes. this is uh, your birthday's in April, isn't it, Sarah? It is indeed. Uh, and mine is as well. And uh, the beautiful um, flower of April is the gorgeous, gorgeous daisy. Real education for me, this is what I never knew that. I, for some reason, I thought that the, um, the flower for April was a, a rose, but no, the gorgeous daisy. And again, absolutely brilliant that you've got. I love the fact that you've got the corresponding dies with this as well to be able to cut out um, your, your stamps there as well. So it is all there. It is all nice and easy for you to be able to create. Next up as we move into May, I'm going to have to go a bit quicker here. We've got the gorgeous Lily of the Valley. So again, for any May birthdays, for any uh, celebrations in May as well, this is absolutely perfect. And the fact that you've got a full library here of uh, beautiful flowers right across the year, you're never going to be stumped. And like we know with flowers as well, as we look into June with this gorgeous rose, they're just going to be perfect for each and every occasion and a set like this you're just going to come back to time and time again july we are into next with the delphinium i mean again you've got a lot of uh, i'm not brilliant with my flowers i've got to admit um but a lot of common flowers you know like your daisies and your roses and then a delphinium wow it's beautiful as well isn't Gorgeous. it just just something very, very different. Love like you've got little banners with this as well. And as I said, with all of them, as you can see, you've got sentiments for lots of different occasions. You've got the ability to be able to cut out your stamped image as well. It is just such a comprehensive collection as we move into August with the Gladiolus. Have I pronounced that right? You have indeed. Excellent news. Um, again, look at that, just gorgeous artwork. Nice, big, juicy stamps that you can get your colouring pens into as we go into um, September, which is the Aster. Again, how amazing to be able to create a birthday card for that person in September with their very own flower, the flower of the month, which is um, the Aster. As we move into October, take a look at this again for the artwork. That marigold is just absolutely stunning. Isn't it? But then you could do it in pinks. You yep. could do it in purples. You could do it in deep reds and it would look completely different. There is so much like versatility in these. You, you keep having a look through them and I'll tell you. So Sarah, the artist who's worked with us, Sarah is so incredible, okay? Sarah Kay, so she worked, Sarah started working in one of our stores here in the UK and we noticed she was a really talented illustrator. So she started just doing in classes in stores then we noticed what an amazing illustrator she was so when I when we looked at the concept for these birthday month stamps I said you know who will be perfect 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 to draw these and I think it's just come out even better than perfect absolutely and I love the fact that you know you've got the ability to uh, build up your own little bouquets with these as well as we move into November which is the chrysanthemum I can just see on my tablet here loads of people are messaging in where their birthdays are and people go oh, I didn't realize that was the flower for my birth month yeah it's going to be an education for you as well and uh, bet you can guess what the one for December is yes of course it is the gorgeous poinsettia it is a phenomenal collection and honestly i can't believe that we're doing this today when we should be launching it officially tomorrow so get yours now whilst you can 
um, £160 or $187 already, you're saving £43, $52, and 10% of the stock has already gone of the stock that we're supposed to be launching tomorrow. If you're a Platinum member, that comes down to £128 for this full collection or $149. Do not miss out on that, seriously. Um, if you want to go for the individuals, you can, two for £31 or two for $35. But what I'd say to you, th th this is almost a kind of collection that you don't really want to split up if the if the budget stretches get the lot because you want the complete collection you know if there is a particular month that you want to go for then absolutely do that use the multi buy but get the lot whilst you can be one of the very first um, to grab yours uh, loads and loads of people getting in touch must say hi to Diana particularly who says today is my birthday uh, so I'm carnations well there we go we're send, sending some carnations to you Diana keep those messages coming in let us know when your birthday month is we'll read all of those out and also by the way let us know why you love our subscription boxes as well uh, and we'll read all of those out. We're so busy on the socials. We are so busy uh, with people getting in touch, telling us why they love this, that brand new collection so much as well. And we've not even told you that as far as the show is concerned, we have got an out of this world deal. Now this is the uh, Centura Pearl uh, collection. You're gonna get 50 sheets of this amazing cardstock here. T right. When you talk about ridiculous value for Mundle buys, you're getting 50 sheets for £10, which is quite simply unbelievable. Um, 14 95 or 22 45 is what you would usually pay, but you're getting the lot today for just 50, uh, sorry, just, just 10 pounds, 50 sheets for 10 pounds. Um, within this collection, you have got your uh, fuchsia, you've got your baby blue, baby pink, your mint, uh, and you've also got the beautiful um, snow as well, snow white into silver. All of that is just a tenner or $14. If you need to stock up on your Centura Pearl, need to stock up on your cardstock, that is the way to go. Our out of this world deal, saving over 30%. Wherever you look, there are deals to be had in this show, things that we're not even supposed to be showing you and things that are already flying off the shelf. We're definitely gonna be looking more at the um, beautiful flowers in just a few moments time, but let's go back full circle to where we started uh, around right about 25 minutes ago and look at this um, subscription box. A few of you asking on, <laughs> a few of you asking on the socials already um, what number this one is. Box number 32, lots of people asking about stencils again. How do you use the stencils? How do you use the embossing folders? We're we're going to cover all of that off um, with um, Sarah. But listen, what I must tell you, I can't believe this. We are 25 minutes into the show and 25% of the stock has gone. So we're basically 1% of the stock is going every minute, isn't it? So you can do the maths on that. If it keeps going at this rate, we're going to have another sellout um, of one of these boxes within the first show. That's where we are with this. And that's why I urge you to grab it. As I've said before, if you've used these before, if you're someone who's got all of the collections, you'll be grabbing it. If you're brand new to us as well, then these really are brilliant for getting a little bit of a feel of lots of different types of crafts and you're not having to break the bank to be able to make some amazing cards. 300 elements inside here. And let's not forget again, we're talking about the fact that you've got stamps in here, you've got embossing folders, stencils, ribbons, there's card blanks, there's envelope blanks, there's um, uh, self adhesive gems in there, there's dew drops, you've got cards, you've got paper in there as well. It is a complete collection for an unbelievable price. Let's go over to Sarah and uh, see these in action so much to choose from but honestly do not miss out on this 25 25 percent of the stock's gone sarah already 25 now <laughs> right what time is it 25 minutes yeah. into the show 25 percent of the stock gone honestly ben i have been here before when boxes have sold out in the launch day wow show. we if you notice we only feature them on the launch and then generally they don't get featured the rest of the month because literally the stock comes in goes out this is all of the stock we have for the rest of the world so if you're in the u.s HSN gets the US shipment, which goes out to everybody who's on the subscription program through HSN. If you're not in the subscription program, the only other way you can get this is to get this ordered now. Wherever you are in the world, we'll ship this out to you as soon as it comes into our warehouse, as Ben said. A little bit of a congestion at the port there. We're just expecting them in the next few days. You can get your hands on this. This might be one of those ones whereby one for you, one for a friend, one to put away as a gift. Because if you, I'm going to just run you through it again from the beginning, Ben, because we've had three or four new, three or four hundred new people join since we started, okay? If I just take you back to yesterday, in yeah. fact, Ben, show them that gorgeous card that I did yesterday. The that gorgeous won card. 
They, so they, they put my favourite card at the back of the set yesterday. This was the one that everyone loved. So have a little look at this. This is the hummingbird one, where we did that. You've got to, we've got to make it look tactile, Ben. You've got to rub your fingers over it really gently and be like, oh, look at the oh, creek there. Oh, ooh, Adam's coming in. Yeah. It's close up. Ooh. You can see that. Can you see how the bird looks 3D? The flower looks 3D. It actually is 3D because it's done with a 3D folder. That is what I'm going to be teaching you, okay? Now, those stencils and folders, they're £9.99, £12.99 each, right? In, so if you go and buy the new launch from yesterday, £9.99, £12.99 each, beautiful array of six. These in here are brand new as well, completely exclusive. So when we designed the collection, we designed the six to launch and we designed the extra three that have got in this box. Yes, three in this box. So for example, let me just get, if I show you the designs on here, first of all, then it'll make more sense, okay? So this one here is the beautiful vase of tulips. I just love them. And you see how the vase looks rounded? That's because it actually is. You see how the tulip buds actually look like buds? That's because they actually are, okay? Then you've got the butterflies. So again, Ben, this is completely exclusive. I, do you know, I've got demos with all of these. I just kind of can't wait to get through them. I'm going to get as many done as I can, okay? Beautiful butterflies. Then you've also got the one, which I think I might do as my first demo, even though oh, I was going to do wow, another yes. one. So I've got loads to show. The poppies. Gorgeous. And I'm going to show you how to do the 3D effect on the poppy heads, okay? Uh, but look, there's, there's loads of different ways. Don't all have to be large cards. They work really, really well on smaller cards as well. So embossing folders or stencils, whatever your game is, we've got them both. So if I show you, for example, that tulip one, you get the tulip embossing folder, you get the tulip stencil that gives you the exact kind of spacing to ink through, and then you've got the corresponding stencil for the background. So for example, when you saw this one, you've got that beautiful background as well as the actual stencil bit in the middle. So you get that with the tulip and then also to with the tulip in the stencils and also in the 3D folder. You've got the same with the butterflies. Yeah. So there's that beautiful butterfly embossing folder there that you've got in the background. Love it. Well, you know I love a good butterfly, Ben. You know absolutely. I'm absolutely yeah, I know. for them. Butterfly but fan. But then, can you see, you'll get this. Now, to be honest, the butterfly stencil alone, beautiful stencil. Absolutely. The dotty background stencil, really useful stencil. That's the second set. Then you've also got the actual um, poppies. So again, you've got those beautiful poppies, you've got the poppy stencil to go with it, and you've got that lovely chevron background. Now, even if you only buy the box for two of these, the rest are coming as a bonus. <laughs> even, or, or think of it this way, even if you just want the box for the 24 cards and envelopes, the beautiful ribbons, the dewdrops, the gems, embellishments, the stamps, and the gorgeous papers, right? So even if you just bought the box for these, at $24.99, it's pretty good value just to get all of this stuff. And then you are getting £30 or for, what, $49 worth of stencils and embossing folders completely thrown in as a bonus, right? So that's what's in the box for all those of you who just joined us. What I'm going to do, though, is start having a go at making some stuff. So Love let's... It. Should we work with them poppies first? Yes. I'll show you how it all works, okay? So if I'm... I could use... Let's have a look. Should we use what's in there? Yeah, come on. I don't like to... I generally don't like to use them because I like to keep my cards and envelopes for when I'm actually making cards yeah. as opposed to cutting them down to use as... Um, but what, let's just what imagine. size are the embossing folders, by the way? A few people are asking. They're all five by seven. Excellent. So they are full size as well. Yes. So it's not like we've done a smaller size. Let's have a little look. I'm just going to go over the front of the um, embossing folder here, okay? Now, because it's a 3D folder, the sandwich that you're going to use is one base plate... Then we're going to go with your uh, magnetic plate and your top clear plate and we're going to pop them into the Gemini. Uh -huh. Now I decided, because everything I did yesterday was colouring, I'm going to have a little bit play with some gilding wax on some Ooh, black okay. card today as well, especially with them butterflies, I think it will work wonderfully well. But first of all, I just wanted to show you how you do it from the stencil point of view. So you can see there, oh actually that's really clear to I see know. the D. And can you see just how beautifully well that's Absolutely, embossed? Absolutely, yeah. Now that is on the cardstock that you've got included in the kit. <gasps> can we do a special zoom in on there? Because that, <laughs> You're oh, loving I'm the new zooms are, aren't I'm you? I'm loving the special zoom ins. I think when you see, look yeah. at all the detail inside the middle of that flower. I mean, honestly, Ben, the level of embossing. It's cavernous, isn't it? what you've got to understand massive. is, 
All right, we're in, we're in. Here we are. Oh, wow. he's there. Wow. Yep. Now I've got to wait for him to zoom out really, really slowly again. And off we go. Right, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, I wanted you to be able to see the different list and how 3D it is and how sculpted it is, okay? Now, top tip from Sarah, right, is when you're doing your stenciling, I like to hold my stencil in place. Yeah. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a spray along the back, okay? And then we just need to pop the stencil over the top. Do you know what I've just thought where I've hit on really lucky with this lockdown? Oh, by the way, everybody in the US, the UK is back in lockdown if you hadn't oh, heard. Oh, no. So, um, yeah, so we're going to start getting the lockdown routes. Well, you'll be pleased to know they've positioned oh, the new overhead camera a yeah. little bit further away so you don't get the Sarah routage update on a daily basis. Do you know what? So, I think that's one thing I've just forgotten about. Yeah, we can't get air cuts now, can we? Nope. Oh. And, I, and I went for the whole, oh, let's grow it a little bit before Christmas. I can get it chopped in January. Nope, can't get it chopped now. So oh. that's going to be interesting. Right, here's the thing. Yesterday, we had these daubers on special offer. On the oh, show. yeah, we did. Go and have a look. That deal should still be live on the website today. £19.50 they were. Great deal, the right? And they're really great. So I'm going to blend my Harmony Water Reacts. I'm going to blend the orange into the red. And I'm going to put probably a little bit of honey pot in there as well. So watch what we're going to do. I'm just going to take a little bit of the, the honey pot and just go from the middle here out to the outside. So I'm using the water reactive ones here, Ben, OK? Yes. So as long as everyone can see what I'm doing, yep. uh, that's code word for I'm going into my colour and comb now. Ben, I knew you. it. I yeah. knew it. Um, yeah, look, I mean, so many people getting in touch. So much stuff to chat about. Um, we'll come back to the birthdays in just a bit. But with this box, th I mean, the testimonials that we're getting in. Send these in, please. Keep telling us why you love these boxes um, so much. Fred171 on YouTube. Uh, the box program is my gift to me. Have them all and enjoy a new challenge each and every month. Um, Heidi on Facebook. It's great to hear these. Uh, these boxes are amazing. I have them all, uh, but number one, I have more paper than I will ever use. I love that I'm trying new techniques and see what suits my fancy. Uh, Jean on YouTube saying, I've been in the program since it started. It's Yay! worth every dollar. I look forward to getting the box every month. Uh, and just another one here. There's so many of them coming in. I love the fact that you can interact with us, you know, that you've got the ability to tell us what you think and then straight away we can let everybody else know this is what we're here for. You know, you can tell us what you think and then we can read all of these comments out for everybody else. So if people haven't bought these boxes before, obviously we're telling you why we love them, but then we've got people like Alice on YouTube who says these boxes are a great way to try out new products and techniques and let you know if you want to invest in more products. Again, that's a brilliant way to put it because you're not having to spend the earth to get a lot and you might find there's a particular craft that you like within you know within the box that you can then spend more money on further down the line they're a great little kind ben, of don't tell them our secret <laughs> oh sorry don't tell them <laughs> There you go, that's what we're doing. We just we just we're just hooking you in. <laughs> we're hooking you in, folks. We the get secret is out. totally converted on stencils and folder techniques. That's what we're doing. But uh, do you know what's better to be honest with people and well, tell absolutely. Them what we're doing. I'm absolutely. sure you guys will love that as well. Um, just to, to say as well, I know you're coming back. I know I can answer you questions whilst you're in your um, in, in your coma over there. But um, Katrina just asking about stencils in general, saying, you know, how do you use stencils? What other things can we use with stencils? Um, uh, obviously you're using your inks now, aren't you? But we can use things like glitter paste, can't we? And, glitter um, paste through there. You can use all sorts of different mediums, Ben. Basically, yeah. if it's a thin enough medium for you to get it through yeah. the, um, the stencil, then you can absolutely use it with the stencils. Yeah, and, and have fun with them. They wipe clean as well, don't they? That's the good thing about them. Yeah, a little, um, little bit of baby wipe and you'll be absolutely perfect, good to go. Wow. This, is, this wasn't even one of my demos, Ben. This is me doing an extra little demo. Oh, this wasn't a demo? No, no, this wasn't oh. even one of my demos. No, no. Oh. I haven't even started on my demos yet. This is one of my extras, just because I, I know how much you all loved the hummingbird yesterday, so I wanted to show you the technique. So you see, when I lift this out now, I was just wanting to show oh, everybody yeah. that technique of how you get the flowers to look really three-dimensional around yeah, yeah. here, but with the colour as well as with the texture. I mean, come on, how awesome is that? And then the that, reason yeah. you've got two stencils, folks, by mm. the way, is so that then you can take your second stencil, right? And you can just, again, if I give that a little bit of a spray and we take that stencil and put it over the top, then if you want a little bit of colour in the background, 
this is where that comes into its own. So now I'll get one of my bigger blending tools and, oh, let's have a look. What, what colour do you think I should go with? Got the colours over here. Let's find a nice, little, little, maybe it's a little bit of straw bale. Ooh, okay, and I've yeah. got a bit of frosty jade here. All right. So all you do is you pick up the colour onto here yeah. and we're just giving it a little bit of a, maybe straw bale was a bit too subtle. Yeah, a bit of a subtle hint in the background as it was. Uh, just to kind of fill in those gaps and these stencils are really really useful just on their own you know even if you're not using them in conjunction with all the other stencil pieces they're just quite nice as like extra little extra little bits in there I can't believe I've done it I had so many demos to do and I've been so desperate to show you some of these just added a random you just one added in there. an extra yeah. one in there why not Can you see I'm just adding a little bit of color in the background there Ben I these love are the, the demos I love showing people where you just you know you're not thinking you just kind of get it out and saying let yeah. me just show you why it's so so awesome right are you ready so when I lift that off now can you uh, see you've yeah. just got that bit of subtle color in the yes. background and then that's ready. I mean, I've done that straight onto the front of the card there if you want. But that's ready if you want to take that and you want to, you know, add a sentiment mm -hmm. or maybe you want... I mean, do you want to see what I'd actually plan to do? I'd actually... Plan, this was my card. This was my card that I was going to do. But then I just decided, you know what? I'm just desperate to show you the technique. Oh, Isn't yeah. That lovely there. Amazing. So now you've seen the technique, though. You see, when I planned the card, I hadn't planned to do the 3D with the different colours. Yeah. But when you love that so much on the hummingbird yesterday, I thought we'd do that with this one. Right. How about give me 30 seconds or so, Ben, to get tidied up, and then we'll do it with a we'll stick with the box and we'll do it with the gilding wax and a and a, and a little bit of um little bit of the butterflies. That was it. I knew you'd said something about gilding wax. So yes, I should have known that that wasn't the official first demo. Uh, but lots more to show you. And again, shows you, doesn't it? If you are brand new and you're thinking, oh, I might have a go at this, how easy it is to get working with your 3D embossing folders and those stencils as well. Such an addictive craft to get into and so accessible as well for everybody. Uh, you know, you don't need to be super level of crafter to be able to create cards. You can recreate that demo that Sarah's just done there simply and easily. Get your box, get those um, stencils out and get crafting, have fun. What I will tell you though, no word of a lie, we're pretty much keeping up with uh, the time ticking away and the percentage of the stock going. Uh, over a third of the stock has now gone uh, we're just after 25 to 5. If this keeps going at this rate through the show, it will sell out. Uh, loads of you taken advantage of this deal. 300 elements in total, as we said. And let's not forget, I'll give you the rundown again in here. You've got 24 card blanks, 24 envelope blanks. You've got the stamps in there. You've got the 3D embossing folder, six pencils, nine lots of ribbon. You've got the 100 self adhesive dew drops, 100 self adhesive gems. You've got 18 cards, 18 lots of papers as well. And as we said, over 300 elements in total. 24.9 across the board if you're a platinum member it comes down to what pretty much 20 pounds that's about 30 seconds Sarah right thank you that was a perfect 30 seconds look I just scooched it all off to the <laughs> side like that we'll deal with that at six o'clock absolutely finish. right I've got a little bit of black card okay and what I'm going to do is remember these are 3d folders fuck they're not just regular embossing folders anyone can do regular embossing folders our embossing folders are like up here so, so far up here, they're off the screen, Ben. That's Can't how them, far yeah. up here they are with our matching stencils and everything. Right, so you've got the... What I've done is I've just got a bit of black card there. It's a little bit too big, but it's always better to trim it afterwards. Yeah. So you can see the, the detail that we've got in the butterflies. Because it's a 3D folder, we're going with your base plate. Then we've got your magnetic. Then we've got your top plate, and that's what we're going to send through the machine, okay? And I'm going to use it with a little bit of gold building wax. But, let's get me, oh, look. you know on the website we do those, oh, oh hello, yep. oh, oh man it's off, it's off, right, let's get another one, we got right, you know we do those lovely spongy eggy things, yes. right, now they're a brilliant way to apply your gilding wax through a stencil, so ah. who hasn't done gilding wax through a stencil before, is that you Ben, yeah, Ben's hello. like over here like this, me miss, Just, yeah, bless you, we'll get you, yeah, we'll get, we'll get you, right, here we go, right, so, if I've got my stencil to go over the top, what you'll see is it gives you that spacing for you to put the detail in on here, okay? So you can add all of the detail in on there, but then you've also got the option, I can bring that and add this background stencil if I want to put a little bit more in the background. Yeah. So let me just show you different ways to go. So first of all, a little bit of gilding wax on my finger, the regular way, and let's just pick up the butterfly looking awesome on its own, right? Oh yes. Loving the butterfly, loving the little swirls. It's like one of those magic pictures you used to uh, paint as a kid. 
Yeah, remember those? You used to add the water and then the, uh, the, the picture used to come to life. Yeah. yeah, look at that. That's brilliant. So I'm just adding a little bit of gilding wax, really nice and simple, right? So if you want to then go and add a bit more, though, look at how I'm just easily able to add more on, right? Yeah. What if we want a little bit more gold? That's when you can go and add your stencil, right? So if I just take my spray and I can spray the stencil, right? Hold the stencil in place over top. And there we go, right, right. Just so when you're on the show, when you're at home, you won't be live on air like me, having no. under pressure to get this ready in seconds, right? You'll take your time and get this perfect. I'm not <laughs> far off there. Too. Looks about right. right? Yeah. It's about right, yeah, right? It'll do. It'll do. Then if you want a little bit more, watch, I can just take a little bit more gilding wax onto here and actually stencil it through so that we can go even more deep, so we can get more shine and more gold yeah. in there. So what I'll do is I'll do the top butterfly. And then we had those so see the difference. eggy sponges, as you called them, on a, um, a good deal yesterday, didn't we? On the, there, was a, there was a set of them that we were doing with all of the daubers. Worth having a look on the website for, because we've got the circular ones, the, um, the rectangular ones. Here we go. There you go, you see. It's going to do the same with the next one. Um, so little, little eggy sponges. Yeah. And, and again, it, just... Look at us with our technical name. I'm sure they've got a formal name, Ben. In fact, I know they have. They, they, they watch I knew what it was before you said eggy sponges, but now yeah. you've said eggy just, sponges. Just All eggy I can think of, they, they are. They look like an egg. They do, yeah, and they a sponge. Like, they look like an egg. Eggy sponge. And I know a lot of you don't always like getting the, um, getting the gilding wax on your fingers. Yeah. So this is a great way to do it. There you go. So there you can see how we've been Ooh. able to add. If I just show you that compared to the other one, yes. you can see how it gives you a bit more detail in there. Absolutely. But watch what else you can do, okay? If I go and take that other stencil that we used in the background, right? Will this just push into place? Yeah, probably a little bit, right? Little bit of gold. And then I'm just gonna pop it through here, right? Just to give me a little bit of an ethereal feel in the background. I'm also getting gilding wax on where I've got me, yeah. Uh, oh, where I've had a little bit of my, what's the word? Adhesive, Ben. But it doesn't matter because you wouldn't know that's what it was in the background. Adhesive. This up, you know where I'm sticking and spray? That's what the little dots are. Oh, can got you yeah. see we've got that? And it's like a subtle, I always say an ethereal feel to it. I think that's just like Sarah speak, making words up. But ethereal, that's a good word. Yeah, like, I, I quite like that. It, because I'm just putting a little bit, tiny bit of the gilding wax on here at a time, you're just getting like a subtle hint in the background, and that's all I want is a subtle hint there. So if I lift that back up again, can you see there, nice subtle uh, hint got, in yeah. the background. Uh -huh. And if I want to do the same over here, just dip it in, take the excess off, and then just rubbing it into the background. This is why you can mix and match the different stencils across the different sets that you've got. But remember, you get all of them. Look at that, doesn't that look lovely? Oh yeah, I right? love that. And love how that. simple to do was that? So that's not, you know, that's just using, well, a few of the different stencils mixing and matching across the set. And then all you're gonna do is, here we go, let's have a look. I have got a guillotine down here somewhere, Ben. I'm gonna trim this and I'm gonna just put this onto the front of a card. Love it. We've got all of the gilding waxes back in stock as well, haven't we? Because we, um, we seem to kind of uh, lose all of those at the end of last year, but we've got all of the, um, the different colors, all the different golds and the silver uh, available for you on our website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk or .eu. So uh, make sure you pop those into your basket as well. Those eggy sponges as well. What do we actually call them officially, Johnny? Mini blending sponges. I prefer eggy sponges. Uh, they are available four for four ninety nine. Or that there is that big kit for thirty pounds where you get uh, you get the you get the uh, the round tool, the rectangular tool, you, or the square. You get uh, ten replacement heads for each, don't you? You get the big brayer, a craft mat, four of the eggy sponges as well. If you want to go the, the whole hog, um, thirty pounds. How did I remember all that from yesterday? Wow, look at me, Mr. Memory. Look at you, Ben. Look at you swatting up. You didn't even know what day of the week it was yesterday. No, I didn't. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for reminding everyone, Sarah. That's great. Oh, I'm always good for a reminder like that, Ben. If you ever need to know, I'm always good for one. Right, here we go. So I'm going to just do a little bit. So I'm not even using the cards from the kit here. I've gone to make a bigger card just to show you where you could be taking it. Those dotty bits, by the way, were just some backgrounds that I've brought from, um, from the same uh, stencil set, just one of the other stencils, to uh -huh. give me a little bit more on the top and bottom there. And then a couple of the nice little dew drops I think will be perfect on here. 
So just add these on here. Now you obviously get the whole set. I've just cut a couple of mine off here ready to use on this demo. This was from my box at home. There we go. Oh, I love them. And the little dew drops are just they're just fabulous to work yeah you with. get a hundred of those in the box don't you hundred uh, self-adhesive gems as well don't forget there's so much they reckon you they reckon 24 cards but i reckon you can probably make a, a lot more with, with this well, collection there's, there's the 24 cards and envelopes in there but then of course because you've got the tools exactly basically you can keep going as long as you want yeah you can just keep making cards till the cows come home because you've got them the, and if things like butterflies are not going to go in and out of fashion they're going to last you forever so there we go there is Nice simple one Fantastic. done with your gilding wax, contrasted doing a nice simple one there where we've done the inking. And then I've spent way too long, I was just supposed to show you a little bit there because I'm desperate to do my birthday flowers as well. Um, we've got so much, it's one of those shows where I'm looking at the time ticking away here and you kind of think we, we almost need another hour here, but there's loads of lovely comments coming in. Uh, Terry on Facebook saying, I never had much luck with stencils, they just don't seem to look right somehow, but this box is calling my name, I may have to give them a try again, absolutely do it, because remember you can watch this show back Tammy, uh, we've got all of the other shows as well, we had a show yesterday with the stencils on, so you can see all of those demos and um, hopefully uh, you know, get some hints and tips there as well. Suzanne on YouTube saying, so glad you showed us the kit. It's perfect. So I decided to also buy the other six from yesterday at the same time. Absolutely. Good choice. That is it. You know, if you know that you like something, then absolutely get in and grab what you love. Uh, Peggy saying on YouTube after yesterday's show, I took my stencils out and played with them. This again, I absolutely love the fact that, do you know what? We can bring you all of these demos, all of these shows, and then it might then rekindle your interest in a particular craft that you haven't done for ages. Or as we hear quite a lot, it may well be that you bought a particular set and you never played with it when you when you bought it but then a show comes on a stencil show whatever it might be and you think oh yeah i've got those and then you get crafting with them it's brilliant to hear and lots of love for that last card as well kathy saying oh my i love the butterfly with the gilding wax um and uh, lorraine saying just checked out got my kit yes lorraine uh done shopping just enjoying the rest of the show whilst working on valentine day cards uh and with the eggy sponges uh, uh, sarah on facebook saying i call them finger sponges Eggy sponges, I think is good. Right, get this while you can, because it's flying out the door. $24.99 uh, across the board, less than 20%, of course. It comes down to pretty much £20. Also on the show, of course, we have got your out of this world deal. If it's cardstock you're after, particularly Centura Pearl, this is the way to go, because uh, you've got 50 sheets within this collection for £10, don't forget. Absolutely phenomenal buy is this. Um, the colours that you're going to get within this collection um, are your uh, base baby blue, you've got your um, fuchsia in there, baby pink, the mint, your um, pearl snow, and also your um, hint of silver as well. All of that includes, so it's 50 sheets in total for £10 or $14 today. Easy to pop that one in your basket uh, with whatever else it is that you have. Don't miss out on this, you know, you don't want to run out of your cardstock. £10, $14 is the deal on that one. Of course, less you're around 20%. Amazing. Now, We've also got on this show um, an Explorer kit for you as well, and this is brilliant, kind of um, a, a bit of a bundle really to get you going in a particular area craft. And this one is absolutely perfect, particularly if you're going for those um, birthday flowers, because what you've got in here is everything that you need. So to kick you off, we're gonna give you for 35 quid as well, this is a bargain. You're gonna get your um, your Nina cardstock. So 16 sheets of this, um, absolutely perfect for doing your stamping and doing your coloring uh, with your alcohol pens, of course. So you've got 16 sheets of that. To go with that, talking of your pens, we're gonna give you your tri-blends as well. So these are gonna absolutely perfect. This particular set you've got in there, your bright pink, you've got your uh, lavender blend, purple, your dark red, your orange, and your citrus. And don't forget with these, it's kind of like a three in one. You've got um, the different blend three different blends within each pen so you sort of dark your medium and your light to make sure that you're getting the perfect blend each and every time that you use those they're phenomenal lots of people love the tri blends those are yours within this set obviously if you're going to be doing some stamping uh, you want to go for your uh, alcohol proof um, dyes as well so you've got your noir black stamp uh, here as well your ink so that's included within the collection on top of that some low tack tape would be handy i hear you shout well we're giving you three lots of that on the reel as well so that is included in the collection and you're saying to me well hang on a minute i have a little bit of trouble with me stamping have you got anything to help me yes we do within this kit we have got the uh, the rocker block so you've got the two different sized rocker blocks basically if you are somebody who's um having trouble 
trouble with uh, stamping. Maybe you can't just get it quite right. Maybe you're someone who has got dexterity issues and, and stamping just is something which you find difficult to do. Uh, these are absolutely brilliant because of course, what you're gonna be doing is using uh, either of the sizes of your rocker block, attaching your stamps, and it's just a nice, easy motion to be able to get that perfect stamp each and every time. And of course, if you don't manage to achieve that, whereas normally perhaps you'd struggle to reline that stamp up again, you've got the ability to do it a lot easier with your rocker block. So all of that, for 35 pounds or 51 dollars is again amazing um, saving 20 percent today and a perfect bundle to go with uh, your brand new um, stamp collection as well if you're a platinum member it comes down to 28 pounds or 40 dollars 80 cents today so again really really super handy set to have now back to something which we weren't supposed to bring you until tomorrow. This is supposed to be launching on launch day tomorrow, but we're bringing you a bit of a sneaky peek uh, and we are super excited. These are flying out the door. I hope we've got enough left for the show tomorrow. That's all I can say because 20% um, <laughs> of the stock has already gone uh, inside the first hour of the show and we've hardly even shown you them yet. Um, 160 or 187 is the deal on this. It is your Gemini birthday month floral stamp and die collection 223 elements the artwork uh, that Sarah's already talked about is absolutely gorgeous and the stamps are such a nice size you've got the ability to really have fun with these once you stamp them out to get coloring and I love the fact as well that you've got each particular flower for each month of the year so man, no matter when your birthday is or whoever's birthday it is you can get the corresponding flower you know if you're needing to make a um, an anniversary card or whether it's a particular special occasion look we don't like making sympathy cards but if you need to you've got the correct flower for each and every month within this collection I'll quickly whiz through these because um, we want to get on and see some demos with them so January is carnation loads of you getting in touch we'll read out some of your messages in just a second but lots of January birthdays lots of birthdays today as well so we should definitely wish those people happy birthday in just a few moments time but carnation is the uh, flower of January primrose for February and don't forget with these as well you get the full stamp set with sentiment not just birthday sentiments as well you've got sentiments for all sorts of different occasions and then of course you've got the dies to be able to cut out your stamped image as well making it just such a complete collection next up as we move into March uh, is the daffodil of course um, St David's Day National Flower of Wales as well so again look at that big big um, beautiful image that you've got stamped out coloured in how gorgeous does that look and then you've got the ability to build up your own little bouquets with the added extra smaller stamps and dies to go with it lots of different sentiments um, in there as well things just as simple as sending smiles um, spring has sprung so as I say you're not just kind of led down the birthday route with these April is um, the month of the daisy again absolutely gorgeous artwork plenty of different stamp sentiments there as well with love best friend um, and things just like have a lovely day I think it's nice isn't it particularly in this world that we're in at the minute just to be able to make a card to send to somebody say have a lovely day, you know, um, smile, keep going, that kind of thing. Into May is the Lily of the Valley, again, absolutely stunning. Love the fact that you get a little tag with each of these as well, a little banner to be able to stamp those sentiments onto, or if you've got other sentiments that you want to be able to perhaps put on that particular card, you've got the ability to be able to do that as we move into the summer months. There's that gorgeous rose, loads of flowers. I mean, if you know your gardening, you'll recognize all of these, but if you're a little bit like me, and you know, you know a few flowers, lots of flowers that you will know, like the rose, but then, Lots of other flowers, which, you know, might be fairly new to you. We've got the Delphinium as we move into July. Again, take a look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Love the fact as well that we've got more of the kind of beautiful uh, Delphinium heads there to be able to build that up. If you want to do a bit of um, a decoupaging maybe as well, you've got the ability to do that. More beautiful sentiments. Love that. Sunny vibes. Thanks a bunch. And blue skies ahead. As we move into August, we've got the Gladiolus. Again, just absolutely beautiful, all of these. And then as we move into the um, August month, the Aster is September. Then we've got that gorgeous marigold again, so much detail in each and every one of these stamps. Then we move into November, which is the gorgeous chrysanthemum. I've pronounced all of these right so far, amazing. 
Go you, Ben. And then finally, uh, into December for the gorgeous poinsettia. Remember, dies to correspond with all of the stamps for each of the collection, but it is a collection that absolutely you're going to be using for birthdays, but to have that corresponding flower for each month of the year just makes it um, so amazing for you for whatever the card might be for. And actually with flowers again, suitable for all sorts of occasions, and you will come back to these time and time and time again. Officially launching tomorrow, but you, but you can be one of the very first to grab them now. Lots of you already doing that. £160 or $187 if you're a Platinum member, uh, $128 or $149. If you want to go for these individually or on the multi-buy, you can do it. It's two for 31 or two for 35 But for me, if budget stretches, I think you should go for the lot because it's the kind of set where you, you need them all, really. Because if you, if you just go, oh, I'll, I'll just get January and February, then guaranteed you, you're going to need March and April. Then ben, need... let me tell you a story. Oh, here we let go. Let me tell you here a story. <laughs> when Oliver was one, yeah. I bought the age one cake pan. Right. And then when he was two, I bought the age two. Oh, no. And when he was three, I bought the age three. By the time he got to five, I realised it would have been cheaper if I'd bought the whole set than what I'd paid for just the first five. Yeah. And now, out of protest, I won't buy six to nine. Well, six and nine could do as one but anyway i won't <laughs> buy them and the thing is it's this is what we call a store cupboard item okay once you've got it it's not it's not one of these trend items no. whereby oh that's really fashionable in 2021 they are classically drawn illustrated to perfection flowers that will do for any occasion and take you through the whole year Yes, you could absolutely use a daffodil. It doesn't have to be in, was it March? March, yeah. You could use your daffodils in Easter, which is what, 3rd of April this year? Yeah, it is. You could use April. daffodils for Easter. So you can use the flowers, not in connection with the months, but they're lovely if you do use them in connection with the months as well. And actually, talk about daffodils, I'm going to do the daffodil and I'm going to stamp, right, hands up, everybody who hasn't tried the rocker blocks yet because they're in those Explorer kits, Ben. Let me show you, right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the daffodil stamp. By the way, can I just add the price of the stamps? If you're getting them in the deal, you're probably just assuming these are acrylic stamps. They're not. You are getting photopolymer quality stamps at acrylic stamp prices. So please don't be thinking, oh, they must be acrylic. These are detailed photopolymer stamps. And then also you're going to use that Nina cardstock because we're going to get that beautiful blend on here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the ink pad that comes with it, which is designed to use with your alcohol pens. We're going to use the uh, Nina cardstock. We're going to use the rocker block. And if I can just get you to look from the side on here, I think, right? So what you do is you start and we start rocking on the heel and we're going to rock from heel to toe right so basically you've got one of the little rails going up one side one going up the other you rock from heel to toe <laughs> the handles are brought inside here so that what you get is an easy way to hold it and a wow. perfect daffodil come on i'll show you that again because it it really is every time you do it it will come out absolutely perfect so you take your ink to the stamp that's how basic stamping is always take your ink to the stamp, make sure you're using the right ink pad for the colouring medium. So in this case, we're going to use alcohol pens. Mm -hmm. The handles are brought inwards and we're going to use the rocking action to rock from left to right. You don't need an awful lot of pressure. And what happens is because we're using that on a curved, you can see here, it's got that like curved rock on the top. So what you've got is you've got the rock. So only part of the stamp makes contact with the surface of the paper at any one time, which means you get all of that detail. And remember what I said about these stamps, they have been drawn to be coloured. So the whole idea around them, Ben, if I, if I just start and do my colouring here, is you've got these lovely big open spaces. Now, if you want some hints and tips, remember you can always look at the packaging. Yes. So I'm going to keep my packaging there for ideas. I'm going to bring in, let's have a look, we'll start with the yellow pen, right? So with your tri-blends, you've got the light, the mid and the dark. So that Explorer kit's going to be a brilliant way to start. Use the cross hatching that she's put here in the colouring, in the actual stamp. So I'm going to come round where we've got that little bit of dark in here and I'm using the fine nib on the tri-blend to just put a little bit of shading in where Sarah's drawn shading on the stamp, right? Then we come to the mid one and we're going to blend out. So we're going to go over the edge of that yellow uh -huh. and then we're coming into, so basically between where the colouring finishes 
and then the um, and the white cardstock starts and I'm using little circular motions getting that blend going and then taking it out a little bit further uh -huh. and then I'm coming coming in with the very lightest one and I'm doing the same again over the edge so it blends out where the edge of that colouring is and it gives me right the way up to the top there so now I've got that perfect ombre of colour, so it looks like I've got shading exactly where she put the shading in the original stamp. This is what happens when you work with really talented illustrators. I mean, we, in fairness, we've only ever worked with really talented yes. illustrators, the Crafters Companion. I understood that that is why, there's a reason why your images can look really, really good and you just need people who've got an eye for craft. Because you can be a fantastic illustrator, but not know anything about craft and therefore you're just drawing something nice that looks really nice when it's you know coloured in on the computer for example yeah or as a black and white image whereas what our illustrators are doing is they know that these are being made into coloured stamps uh, rubber stamps that people are then going to colour in and they're going to use these in their card making so everything we're always doing Ben is all built around that premise and so we design all of the product working with the illustrators to get that exact perfect finish that is why you get the that is why our stamps are a little bit different maybe to other images of flowers that you've seen or yeah. maybe you know you know someone and they've drawn some flowers or something why do ours work so much better as stamps that's why they're I mean, look at that. Look it, at that real depth and dimension that we've got. Absolutely. Right, I'm going to do a little bit of the colouring of the mm. green, Ben. Same principle, um, but you're going to, you, basically I'm going to be quiet now. Okay, well that gives me a chance because literally I have never <laughs> seen so many messages um, on my little tablet here, struggling to cope. Loads of people um, loving this collection. Lots of um, birthdays, January birthdays. Kay on Facebook saying January is my birthday month. Uh, Tammy on YouTube, uh, my birthday was on New Year's Day. Uh, happy birthday, Tammy, for that. And Mary Lee on YouTube saying, you have no idea how long I looked for a carnation a few years ago. Did find found one but nothing like this one my favorite flower thank you thank you thank you you are welcome and I'm pretty much sure you are going to find your favorite flower within this collection uh, Mary on Facebook if I didn't thank you yesterday Mary by the way thank you for your Christmas card which you sent me that was really really kind of you I, I didn't get it until I came back in but um, thank you so much anyway it's, it's up in the dressing room uh, February is your birthday month I'll, maybe I'll have to send you a card uh, Tammy saying on YouTube the detail of the flowers is extraordinary that's what Sarah's just been talking about there I love the fact as well, you know, just hearing that from Sarah, there's sort of like clues, isn't there, in the image. If you are quite new to colouring, particularly using your um, tri-blends, there's clues there for you to be able to get that blending absolutely right. Uh, Diane on Facebook saying, what? Oh no, I have to have these. Mine is April. That's a, you're a daisy. Uh, Fred saying, thank you for the dyes to go with the stamps. Maria saying, my favourite flower are carnations. Um, I has the, had them as my wedding flowers, which is um, just amazing. Uh, it's probably quite nice just to have a collection of really beautifully illustrated flowers. Yeah. Even if you forget about the birthday month thing, you know, for those of you who are maybe maybe making a special wedding card and you need a specific flower, mm. it's really difficult to find really good flowers that kind of match together in a collection. Well, I know that's why we, that's why we've designed some Ben because they're so difficult to find. Yeah. And um, Karen Kay saying on Facebook, I absolutely love this set so much so I committed to buy before I'd even seen any of them. A uh, good thing I had a lot of overtime last week. I'm an October girl, uh, can't wait for these to arrive. Uh, Samantha, these flowers are making me break my promise to myself to not only purchase one craft item a month. Wow, uh, this was us yesterday, so wasn't it breaking people's uh, yep. New Year's resolutions? I think that's 10 we've done now. Um, <laughs> sorry, everybody. We will not be popular. No. Um, and Wanda on YouTube saying, Hi, Ben and Sarah. My birthday month is May. I was just naughty and bought this amazing collection. Well done, Wanda. Uh, a really early birthday present for me. <laughs> I love that. It's January the 5th. Your birthday's in May. <laughs> Early birthday present. Happy birthday for me! Yeah, happy happy birthday. birthday for me! I love that. I can't wait to see what she gets for her birthday. If she's starting shopping in January for it, I cannot wait to see what you get. What little statue you'll have built up by the time May comes round. What I love the most is like, you know, being here at Crafters TV is all the excuses that you guys come up with brilliantly for, for an excuse to buy. When you know you shouldn't really be buying, there's always an excuse. There's always a way in isn't there for you to be able to it's show our fault then we're enablers enablers, we're enablers. 
enablers. That's what it is. Oh dear, oh dear. Just brilliant. Lots more comments coming in. Uh, we'll read through those uh, in just a few moments' time. Uh, Sharon just saying on Facebook, the flowers are the month stamps and dies paired, but the zodiac sign dies would make awesome cards. <gasps> wow, wow, what a brilliant That's idea. Great. Would love to see how you get on with that. Hey, listen, by the way, yes, talking about love to see, uh, if you have got any uh, pictures you'd love to send us in, uh, then please do, particularly um, if you are, have been making anything with the uh, some, um, sub boxes, we'd love to see those. Uh, but just in general, maybe um, you've been, um, you've got some favourite flowers you want to send in, whatever it might be, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Uh, do send us in those pictures and we will uh, share them with everybody else uh, watching with us this afternoon, this morning. By eight, you've cracked on there, haven't you? I'm doing it. all right, aren't I? Do you know, I got, into, I got myself into trouble last time over some pictures, Ben. Yeah, well, so I don't know if I tell you, but my in-laws watch almost all of the shows. Since oh, yes. I told them how to get this on their proper big TV in the living room, other than if they, they're on babysitting duty and they've got the grandkids there, and then it's either Thomas the Tank or Peppa Pig. Yeah. Other than that, uh, it's pretty much Crafters TV all afternoon in their house. But they're not the most uh, technologically advanced when it comes to emailing and whatnot. Oh, yes. So, so, yeah, so basically what happens is when I say send a telfy and you could win something, yeah. my father-in-law makes poor Val stand up in front of the TV. Yes. She wouldn't do it. So then he took a picture of himself in front of the TV. Yes. Sent it in. But he texts it to me. Yeah. So he expects me while I'm busy doing my show to notice that I've got a text from him to then download the email, yes. forward it onto the gallery so they can have it on the show, so they can be in a chance of winning the card. I said, if you want a card, I'll just make you a card, you know. But I think but it's I think it's the thrill of being I'm, I saw, I met him just before Christmas. <laughs> I met him, he he, he um he, he was in, he was in, um, it was done. And he mentioned exactly the same thing. John, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk or, you know, if you like, if you want, I'll give you my number after the show. You can send it to me and I'll, I'll forward it on for oh, you. Oh, yes. You know what he's after, don't you? Being favourite. <laughs> you, you, I can see you coming a mile off. Let's get in there with Sarah's in-laws. <laughs> Hey, oh, what we like. Oh dear. Right, what I'm going to do the die cut now because remember, it's not just the um, it's not just the stamps. You've got the stamps and the dies with these, Ben. Yes. So I'm going to put the die cut round the outside, and then we'll take that through. I've got a bit of a mess going on again, and I'll use this on my gorgeous little. Um, I haven't done a card this time. I thought I'd do a box for a bit of a change. Brilliant. Um, loads of messages still coming in. Let's have a look at these. Uh, it gives me a chance to rattle through them because I'm miles behind. Um, Mary Ann on Facebook said, I made all my Christmas card this year, cards this year and my family loved them. Um, my sister-in-law, who's picky, put their card beside a sculpted candle she bought from an artist. Uh, and Ina on YouTube saying, I love when Sarah does the show. So excited to receive my box. Uh, have been watching since a couple of months only and I am hooked. That's what happens again. You see, tune in for five minutes. Five months later, you're still watching. Um, <laughs> and uh, Tansy Pansy on YouTube saying, Sarah has the incredible skill of involving everyone in her enthusiasm. I'm feeling so excited. Tansy Pansy, yes, I will, I will second that, absolutely. You kind of get lost in the enthusiasm. I always find the days when I'm presenting a show with Sarah, when I get home at the end of the day... I'm you sleep well that night. I do. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm doubly tired. I'm doubly tired. <laughs> it's, it's the truth. It is the truth. <laughs> the producer Johnny's just saying, I hear her in my sleep. I hear her. <laughs> hey, what am I like? What am I like? So but you true. guys keep coming back for more. <laughs> we do. What We're gluttons. Gluttons for punishment. For <laughs> <laughs> the juicy right. Johnny, look at that. I've just decided to smooth off those edges just with a little bit. What I use a bit of fryer brown. Oh, there's an ink pad, some ink pad shows coming up this weekend, isn't there? Yes, uh, a little bit of fryer brown. I've realized I've missed a bit of yellow in the back there, so I'll get coloring in a little bit of yellow there. Right, brilliant. What I'm going to do then now is look what I've done here is I've made the box now. I, it's not a box making show, so I but look, I'll show you the quick way. I've done the box. But I did the box a little bit smaller than the nesting dies that I had that were a bit of a different shape. Yeah. So that you've got that little box there. And then look what you've got on the daffodil stamp. You've got all these extra little bits here. And I like this. Uh, then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils from William Wordsworth. Oh, lovely. So I've just stamped that. And I'm going to put that in a little bit. Where's me? Uh, here we go. I'm going to just put a little bit of the... Uh, 
of the glue onto the uh, onto the back, and we'll just get that position a bit. Now, bear in mind, Ben, all we're doing here is giving you a bit of a um, bit of a sneaky peek because the actual full showness is tomorrow so this this little bit of and I, I, ben you need to sleep well tonight then because if you've got a whole show of me tomorrow with coloring in uh that people please tune in tomorrow and support ben he's going to need the chit chat support if i'm coloring in for two hours ben's going to need someone to talk to because it's not going to be me is it not wow um, all right yeah. <laughs> well that's fa that's fair warning then isn't it i've got a busy day tomorrow as well because supposedly uh, i've got an early morning run Yes, we're going uh, at 5 o'clock, Ben. Uh, no, 5.30 I said we could go, didn't I? 5.30, it's getting earlier, it's getting earlier. 5 so o'clock, what time? No, 5.30, we can go at 5.30 in the morning. We so run got, early, Ben, got to run early, got to be in work nice and early, I lots got, to do. Well, I've got that first thing, and then I've got to be in early to do some, um, some filming and some voiceover work, and, and then meetings, and then... Uh, the shows. I mean, they're making me work tomorrow. Can you believe that? Oh, they, they I didn't come here to work. Tomorrow. We're making him work. How rude. I know. How rude. Outrageous. Right, let's have a little look. Ben, I'm in my own little world here. You all right? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm absolutely loving this. The daffodils, I mean, the daffodils are just fabulous to colour. But then even just finishing off the little box, doesn't it look super cute? And then how nice. Oh, oh, this might win the competition. Remember, everyone, you've got to pick oh, out yeah. your favourite card that I make. Good job, you're And then the we're ball. going to include that. Or we're going yeah. to include something. What do you do? It comes only on Sunday, doesn't it? Right, so you basically have to, you have to let us know in the comments your favourite um, demo that you've seen so far. We're obviously going to squeeze in a few more over the last sort of 45 minutes. But your, uh, I your a favourite... Few more. I've got loads more to show you, Ben. You've got loads more demos to squeeze in over the next 45 minutes. Um, and uh, yes, you vote for your favourite. And um, we'll uh, recap it again on Sunday. On Second Chance Sunday, look at that box. Amazing. Love it. <gasps> look, but look, come on, look at that colouring. When I say these were made to colour, in fact, you know what? Let's just make some space. Make some space. Where's my samples, right? When I say these stamps are made to colour, whether it's the daffodil, look at the gorgeous points that you here, and the big open space where you can have the light bouncing off. Oh, oh, look at this one here. <gasps> and I can't remember the names of all the flowers. All I know is if you want to do your palette blending technique, that one is perfect to try it with. I know this one. This one's ours, Ben. Oh, daisies. yeah, the daisy. We're up. We're up with our daisies. The... Oh, and then the carnations. Yeah. <gasps> the carnations are just absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love that one. Absolutely love that. Oh, the, is that the snowdrops? That is the, yes, yeah. snowdrops, yeah. Oh, look at Lily that. of the Valley. Showers. Lily of the Valley. Oh, I was nearly there. I was nearly there. So look at that. You, but you don't have to do them. There, February primrose. Yep. That helps when we put the names on the top. Uh, <laughs> you, don't ha you don't have to do them exactly as per um, exactly as per the month. They're just wonderful flowers. And I tell you what, if there's anything everyone should own in their store cupboard, it is a set of all the different flowers. I just think you'll come back to them. There's the daffodil again. You'll come back to them time after time after time again. Um, just a few questions here, but um, so, so do you say Sarah is the artist who drew the... Sarah Kay? Uh, yeah, yep. Sarah Kay has been in touch on Facebook. She's what, sorry? Been in touch. Oh, you yes. Know, you know you just read the William Wordsworth um, line there for your last box, the William Wordsworth um, poem. Sarah's yeah. saying, I got the idea for that William Wordsworth sentiment from the Daffodil Garden in Grasmere at the Lake District. Fun fact. So there you oh, go. Oh, fabulous. Brilliant. Um, so thank you so much for getting in touch. Love that. And um, we love the artwork as well. It's a fantastic collection. Um, lots of votes coming in for the uh, favourite demos. The box is in the lead. Uh, my favourite is uh, the box. Loving the daffodil, says uh, Sarah. Just a quick one. And, and I know the answer to this, but um, Mary and a few others are saying, what were the pens that we, you were using in that last demo? It was the tri-blends, wasn't it, that you were yes, using? Yes, I was using the tri-blends. The ones that are in the explorers kit so that if you're brand new to all of this new year new craft want to try something else that explorer kit gets you the rocker blocks that you need the big ones perfect for the big stamps in fact you know what isn't this your job then to tell them what you're getting well no i was just you, you keep I'll talking i was going to do that and let you do it because you've got it all there okay 
Look at that, I, was, I let him have a I, word in edgeways. I was quick on that there, wasn't I, you see? I was quick on that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what you're going to get in the uh, Explorer Star Kit, yes, you're going to get your tri blend. So you've got your six pens there, 18 colours in total, of course, because you've got the three different, different blends per pen. Uh, bright pink blend, you've got your lavender, purple, dark red, orange, and your citrus blend. Then, of course, you're going to get your, um, your ink. You've got your noir black there to be able to stamp and use with your pens. Uh, three lots of your low tack tape. There's your rocker blocks. And actually, you're going to get the two size rocker blocks. And you've seen how easy it was to stamp with those. If you struggle with stamping, you know, if you've just never got the knack of it, or as I say, maybe you've got um, dexterity issues and you've given up on it, these are absolutely brilliant. And then, of course, uh, we're going to give you. Uh, 16 sheets of your, uh, your Nina as well. Great for your stamping uh, and great for using with your alcohol ink. So all of that is your Explorer kit. £35 or $51 um, is the deal on that one today. Absolutely perfect to go with those flowers. Um, there's so many comments coming in. Um, I just I can hardly keep up with them all. Um, but loads of you loving the uh, flowers, loads of you loving the boxes as well. Kay on Facebook saying, I needed this today. I'm recovering from COVID. Oh, we'll get, get well soon, Kay. Um, I've lost my crafting mojo. I didn't make any Christmas cards. I will make a card today, though. So thank you, Sarah, says Kay. Well, that is good to hear that um, you've got your mojo back, Kay. That is it. It's all about it. one day at a time, and I'm sure very soon you'll be uh, you'll be back uh, crafting to the max. Um, just checked out my kit, says Lorraine on Facebook. Uh, done shopping, just enjoying the rest of the show whilst working on Valentine's Day cards. Uh, and Lynn on Facebook saying, I just had to order that craft box. Can't miss this one. Those folders and stencils look fabulous. Well, actually, loads of you, of course, going for this box. It is flying out of the door. Number 32, and I know from reading the comments, so many of you have um, gone for all of these um, over the months. This is the 32nd, 40% of the stock has now gone. Um, if you've been with us since the start, you'll have had a good look inside the box. If not, I know we're gonna be looking at it again in just a few moments time. But basically, if you're a collector of these, you're going to want to get it. Um, if you are somebody who just loves getting crafty goodies at an unbelievable price, you gonna to want to get this. And actually, as I said, if you're one of those new people watching, because we've got new people joining us all the time, uh, it's nice to see new names in the comments, uh, nice to sort of see people kind of asking uh, questions, um, in sort of beginner questions, if you like, really. So sort of knowing that new people are watching all the time, these sort of boxes are absolutely perfect because just allowing you to dip your toe into the water just a little bit, but a complete collection for you there to allow you to make lots of different cards. This one, as you're going to see in just a few moments time, contains uh, three lots of stamps, three 3D embossing folders, six stencils, nine lots of ribbon. You've got 24 card blanks, 24 envelope blanks. You've got 100 self-adhesive dewdrops, 100 self-adhesive gems, 18 card and lots of card and 18 papers in there as well. It's over 300 elements in total. Um, and as we said, it says on the box you can make 24 cards, but actually you've got so much in there. And of course, with the fact that you've got the 3D embossing folders, the fact that you've got stencils in there as well, you'll just be making projects uh, for years and years to come. It's a fantastic buy, is this, for $24.99. Um, and as we always say, even if you are new to us today, nobody's going to be paying that price on the screen because, of course, we've got um, our um, Club Inspire. So, you know, worst case scenario, you'll be getting 5%, 10% off that, 15 20% off that if you're a Platinum member, bringing that down to, what, £20 or $20? Amazing. But here's the thing. Uh, we've got 40 minutes remaining. If you have just joined us, you're probably saying, Ben, shut up, for goodness sake. We want to see what's inside the box. So that's what we're we're going to do right now believe you me you will want to get your hands on this ben, oh. shut up for goodness sake we want to see inside the box i told you you were saying that yeah 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 Go on you in. see you see I'm, I'm just the voice of everybody at home i'm just the voice <laughs> of everybody at home can i just say one thing as well so good to be back. It seemed like this really good idea to give everyone this lovely break over Christmas. It was. All the stuff here, right? But then actually, it was really it, good. That was great for the first few days. And then last week, I was climbing the walls and I was gutted, really missing it, and couldn't wait to get back here. So it's brilliant to be back in and back into the swing of things. Oh, yeah, okay? you're working this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So here's the thing, right? In case you missed it at the beginning, or in case you don't, you're brand new to these boxes, okay? We have been doing these boxes now for 32 months. 
32 months, and I'll be really honest, that's 32 months of getting better and better and better yes. at them. So what we do is we have tens of thousands of people in our subscription service over in America, and we run the subscription through HSN. So I know, in fact, let us know in the comments if you're someone who's in the subscription program at HSN. We've got people who've been in bed right from box number one, tens of thousands of people. Now, what we do is we get all these people who are in the subscription or buy these monthly boxes. It's a way for you to try out all the different crafts that we do. So when we design a new range, and this week's a prime example, we've just designed a brand new range of gorgeous 3D embossing folders with matching stencils. And there are six beautiful 3D folders with matching stencils, but then we designed an extra exclusive three designs We've put them in the monthly craft box. But because it's a whole monthly kit, you don't just get the folders and stencils, you also get the papers, the embellishments, the ribbons, everything to round out the whole card. So if I just show you in here, to put this into perspective as well, well, you know I mean business when the pointy finger comes out, right? <laughs> to put it into perspective, Ben, one set with the 3D folder yep. and two of the stencils, go and have a look, and they're the same size, they're the same design concept, everything, £9.99, $12.99. We could have just put one in the box and said, you have to do all, but all butterflies, or you have to do all flowers. We could have just put one in the box. But what we did is we put three of these in the box. So we put the beautiful poppies in the box, right? We also put the gorgeous butterflies in the box here as well. Love so there's that. your butterfly design. And we included, which is the only one I haven't had a chance to show you yet, which I'll do next, is the tulips. Now with each one, Ben, you get the 3D folder, you get the matching stencil that goes over the top like this, so you can then stencil in between it and then you get a beautiful background stencil to create that background so for example there's that lovely rounded bit that goes look how 3d this yeah. looks because it is 3d you've got the rounded vase you've then got the beautiful tulips all coming out of the top it's the same whether it's the tulips or the butterflies and i love the butterflies you know when we did that lovely if i showed you on the first card that we did second mm -hmm. card it might have been where we did the ethereal feel in the background but then that's layered up with the dotty stencil that comes in this set as well stencil and through a little bit of ink on your butterflies love that card and um, and then it's the same with the poppies so we could have done one, we could have just given you two, but you get three full embossing folders and stencils, which in and of itself is worth way more than the box. So that would be to buy £30, less a few pennies, or $49, less a few pennies. So essentially, if you're in the US, it is half the price of just the 3D folders and stencils to get the whole box. And as well as these, you then get 24 card blanks and envelopes. And they're our premium card that's great for you to do. You see when I embossed on it and it took the embossing mm. beautifully well. The premium card stock there in the cards and then the matching envelopes. Then you also get the stamps to round out the story. You get the gems and we've put some of the dew drops in because everyone loves them dew drops. Then we've also put in the ribbons that correspond Gorgeous. with the papers so in these beautiful papers we've got the matching butterfly backgrounds the hearts we've then also got those lovely little florals the butterflies that match in the dots that match in there's that chevron effect from the background and then the gorgeous bright colors all to match up so it's very of the moment because this is the january box we've given you all these lovely springtime colors to spring into the into the new year so that is everything that's in the box i'm going to get everything ready and i'm going to do a demo with that lovely set with the um with the jug and the tulips in brilliant stuff um as you can see i wasn't lying to you was i it's an amazing box and listen um half the stock has gone 50 percent. and let's get this straight you know this has been going for 32 months right so you know obviously a lot of people go for these boxes so you will know that we have to get a lot of stock so the fact that half of it is gone uh, inside what an hour and 25 minutes tells you how busy we are. Don't delay. I know, as I've said, if you've already gone for these boxes previously, you'll be getting it again today. But if you're thinking, shall I, shan't I? Loads of people still telling us how much they love these boxes. Uh, look on Facebook, look on YouTube, look at all of the lovely comments that we've got coming in. And once again, if you have just joined us and you um, get these boxes and you love them, tell us in the comments on Facebook and YouTube, tell us why you love them. Tell everybody else why you love them, why you keep coming back each and every month to get your hands on these boxes. And then, you know, people can read your comments and we can read them out for everybody else as well because 
it's really great to hear why you love them. Uh, lots of lovely messages still coming in. I'll have to apologise and say I'm not going to be able to read all these out because there's so many. Um, Cheryl Ann on... And yeah. I'll do my Sarah colour and coma thing again, and oh. you can do comments. Well, that that sounds like an absolute plan. So I will, um, I'll throw to you now then, and let you get started, and then I'll just read out comments to me asking. I'll tell you what, that's so good. I'm going to give you a fist pump through the telly. That's that's not a punching your lights out. That's no. a fist pump. Go on then. Yeah. 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 Nice. Right. <laughs> what we'll have to do is work on getting you as me little angel to this corner, isn't it? Getting you up in the edge and then, and then fist pumping. Oh, yeah, there. let's do that. Let's do that yeah, now. Let's, ready? Ready, 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 ready. Can we do it? Yeah, I reckon we can. Do you reckon we can? Uh, that, uh, that one. No, that, no that other way. way. Ready, other ready? Way, other way. No, not straight. Uh, no, no, not quite. There we go. Ready? Ready? ready, ready. Uh, Three, two, one. Yeah, we're so cool. We're so cool, Ben. We are yes. so cool. We need to move away from the fist pumping. <laughs> right. right, everyone. As exciting as the fist pumping was. Uh, I right. enjoyed okay. it. Okay, I'm going to do the last one that I haven't done yet, which is the gorgeous vase, right? So all I've done, Ben, by the way, another thing. Oh, I'm, I'm really, I'm like I'm on a mission to do that. The other thing is, yep. pe people would assume that because it's a box, it's a sampler. And so we give you a sample. Mm. If we give you a sample, we would have made the embossing folders the smaller size, yes. so they're not cheaper. We haven't, because I think they look wonderful as five by seven full size folders. So we've done them at full size five by seven. Or somebody else might have thought, oh, we'll save the cost and not do them as 3D, because 3D is like twice the price of regular embossing folders. Oh no, I, you know, the bar's up here when it comes to us and embossing folders, and we've just smashed it, smashed it out the park. <laughs> so that is what you're going to be getting. You're going to be getting the gorgeous, 3D embossing folders. So I'm using that in the sandwich with my clear uh, clear plate, then my embossing folder with the cardstock in, and then my magnetic and the frosted plate on top. That's the sandwich you need for your 3D embossing folders. And then when I take this out, what you'll see is it'll have given me that beautiful deep emboss. Can you see when I get in there? And it's really when you get into here that you can start and see just how dimensional yeah you can totally see around there how dimensional like all of that area is around the tulips so that's what you're going to do we're going to pop that down and then we're going to mask off these areas here with the stencil so that then i can ink into these little bits here and then once i've done that ben you're up basically oh, I'm there yeah so all i'm going to do is a little bit of spray yep. so i'm using our repositionable spray here Good stuff. so that i can put the stencil in place and it won't move while i'm doing the inking now yesterday if you go back and watch the show you'll see loads of techniques and um, of what you can do with like um 3d folders and stencils but yesterday i used all our harmony water reactive ink pads and i thought you know what i'll do something a little bit different so i've done one this time with the opaque pigments just so that i can show you they will blend equally as well if not arguably better than the um than the water reactives yep. so now all i'm going to do is i'm going to use my daubers and i've got my got lemon tonic chinese red fuchsia mm. crushed velvet Jet black and green topaz are the colours that I'm going to use in there. And, uh, and then that's it. I'm off now. <laughs> wow, well, just be it. honest. I'm off. Um, right, so there's so many of you uh, voting for your um, your favourite demo so far. Lots of love for the box that you did earlier on with the um, with the daffodil on. Uh, so yeah, let us know what your favourite demo has been so far, and that will um, adorn our uh, crafty walk of fame behind me just here very shortly indeed. Um, loads of chat as well about the flowers on the show. Uh, Tracy saying my birthday's in September. Uh, couldn't afford the full collection, but just had to order the daffodil. Not only my favourite flower. Uh, and favourite demo, uh, but the Flower of Wales too. Yes, of course, uh, March being um, St David's Day, isn't it? First of March. Uh, Jody on Facebook saying, just when I think I don't need something, wham, you guys can sell me Swampland. 
<laughs> that is, that's going to be one of my favourite comments. <laughs> <laughs> I've not heard that one. Um, Stephen on Facebook saying, these are going in my basket. Uh, the last demo sold it for me. Going to get the box kit too. Absolutely love them. Um, lots of love for your daffodils actually a few moments ago. Susan on YouTube saying, I have to vote for the daffodils as I'm from Wales. Well, there you go. Uh, and that is the flower I wear on St. David's Day, which is the 1st of March. Um, and on Facebook, so glad you I can never say this without sounding so English. So glad you're all, y'all. 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 So glad y'all are back. <laughs> I've, I've missed Crafters TV shenanigans. So English, oh dear. Uh, and Maureen on Facebook says, you know you said, you know you said uh, earlier on, um, you were sort of climbing the walls a little bit on your second week off. Maureen says, so Sarah, what did you do when you were climbing the walls? Did you do a sneaky craft? Uh, I did lots of crafting. Yeah. I did lots of crafting. And do you know what else I've done loads of over the break? Yeah. Done loads of jigsaws. Oh yes. Oh, we've been so into our jigsaw and it's unreal. We've been doing loads as like a family and whatnot. I just, I just wanted something a little bit different yeah. to do, you know, because I, I always do the crafting. I did mm. loads of crafting with the kids. Yeah. Like we did all our own Christmas cards, everything. Yes. To the point whereby, and my boys want to craft all the time. Um, our Oliver just said, no more crafts, mummy. Oh, really? <laughs> and I was like, Okay, son, that's me told. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Mummy's pushed it a little bit too far. This year. <laughs> I am um, actually. I think I'm getting more and more crafty being here because we we did lots of little crafty bits. Made Christmas cards. Made some little um, uh, salt dough decorations as well for the tree. We did lots of cooking. Really getting into me cooking at the minute. So it was it was great actually. And board games. Boy, oh boy, did we play some board games. We got left um, lots of board games from Father Christmas. So we played a lot of those. Um, we got so we got the game of life. Do you remember that? Did you do you remember the game of life, Sarah? Did you ever play that? No, uh, the game. I've heard of it. I think. Oh, it's such a brilliant game where you basically basically just have you have a little car and you travel through life and you have to get through college and then you you get married and then you have a family and it's, it's how much money you've got at the end of the game. It got very competitive in our household. I won. <laughs> I won three I or four. Imagine. Um, but yes, no, that, that's what I did in the, in the last week. Um, Claire saying on Facebook, Sarah, I've been subscribing for these kits from day one and absolutely love them. I find that it gives me the inspiration I sometimes need whenever I am stumped, which is nice. Yeah, do you know a lot of people say that? Mm. It's, you know, and, and, and it is, Ben, it's, it's like me, you know, I, I really, I love to bake. And, but the problem is I'll keep coming back to the same recipes. Yes. Well, you know, I'll keep making the same things over and over again because I just don't quite know where to start with something new. And I think for a lot of people, it's the same with their crafting. You keep going back to the thing you know. And these boxes are designed to push you out your comfort zone. I mean, I'll be really honest, we've got an ulterior motive. We want to push you out your comfort zone so that you get into a new craft and then you get hooked and then you come and buy loads more of that awesome <laughs> stuff, right? However, I think even if you just want to give it a go, $24.99 is nothing to start a new hobby. You know, to start with maybe like stenciling, for yeah. example. It's absolutely nothing. Then look at this, I can lift this off. Look how amazing that oh, looks. Come oh, on. yes. Look at the two, the three Dinas going on with my little tulips up here. Don't they look amazing? Yes. Right? So, that is my background, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to dry it off. Oh, yeah, I'm going to dry it off a little bit with my. Um, Oh, with my heat gun that's not plugged in. Yep. And then uh, and then I'm going to do a little bit of background stenciling too. Goodo. Um, lots of uh, lovely messages still coming in. OMG, says Linda on Facebook. I have to go for those birthday stamps. Yeah, get them. The birthday stamps, by the way, which we will recap on again, I'm sure, before six. Uh, they're, they're not even launching today. They're flying out the door, but they're not even, not even officially here. They're not officially here. Um, as I say, I'm, I'm so glad that the boss is in because otherwise I'd be getting in trouble for this. But the great thing is, as producer Johnny's just said, you're buying them today and you can watch all of the demos tomorrow. And of course, um, yeah, you'll know, safe in the knowledge that you've got them because a lot of people might just be tuning in specifically tomorrow knowing that they're coming up and maybe they haven't tuned in for this show so they don't know that they're here. So you can make sure that you get yours before anybody else does. That makes sense. Um, Oh yeah, the good thing is though, isn't it nice yes. to know that you can tune in and watch that show tomorrow? Yes, safe in the knowledge. And then and then just not be worried and yeah. be thinking like, haha, already got them. Yes. And and then also the fact that we get to do all them extra 
which is all them extra shows. So much more to show, really, isn't it? Absolutely. So, right, lemon tonic, I think it's going to be a bit too much. I'm going to get a bit of straw bale, Ben. Yes. And uh, maybe it's a little bit of my, where's my nice fryer brown that I had? And just do that, like, you know, a little bit of a hint of in the background. Uh -huh. Going to do me a little bit of a hint of in the background again. Um, Pam's saying on Facebook, Sarah, what you also need to say that there is the monthly box site where there are also demos. It's not a case of buying a product. It is well supported by demos and techniques. Why, th do you know what, Pam? We should just get you a purple jumper, shouldn't we? <laughs> we should just get you a purple shirt and you can just come on and you, we, you, we could just come and do the demos as well. We know she'd be good at it. Yeah, um, Pam, actually, I met, well, well not, not physically, but digitally, the first ever craft house that I did, um, Pam was on, and she was absolutely brilliant. That was when uh, we, we <laughs> I'll always remember it, we, we'd sort of um, gone straight over to Pam and welcomed her, and literally, as she was just about to speak, uh, her husband <laughs> peeked through the craft room door at the back, and we could see him, and we were laughing as he turned around. It was a case of, get off, I'm on TV! What are you doing? I was, I was absolutely, and, he, and he come in to see if she wanted a cup of tea? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Oh, right, dear. there Not we go. Pan. Now, can I just say, pretty pleased with how that's worked yes. out. Yes. Absolutely loving that, in fact. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it down a little bit and I'm going to put it, uh, I've, got, I've got a nice fold-back card, so I'm going to put it on the front of my card as well, Ben. Brilliant. Um, listen, if you want to go for this um, box, twenty four ninety nine across the board, uh, £20, isn't it, for your platinum membership, so don't miss out on that. We are now talking about over 50% of the stock of that has gone um, and well, potentially, uh, this is going to be back second chance Sunday, but the way this is going, uh, there's not going to be much left. So don't wait until then, whatever you do. Uh, Debbie's going to be here with, um, with that second chance Sunday, but get it now. It's one of those things where I never like to pressure you into saying, you know, you need to buy it now, get it now. But this is one of those things which could potentially sell out before then. So if you want it, get it now. I don't think there's any point in waiting, uh, especially at that price. And when you've seen a bit of a snapshot in this show with just some of the demos that Sarah has been putting together, some of the things that you can create and all of the different concepts in there, I think is an absolute must buy. Um, lots of messages still coming in. Diane saying, Ben, please tell Sarah I love the snowflakes she made out of paper bags. I'll be oh, making those this thank Christmas. Thank you. Yes, do you know, that, well, that was a, a lovely video. I say a lovely video. All my videos are lovely videos. They are. Uh, that was one I did. I did it and put it on um, Facebook and YouTube. So it wasn't, if people are thinking, what's that? Have I missed that? Yeah, what is it that? It wasn't a show or anything. Oh. It was literally just a, um, I just showed people how to do it on, uh, on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. It was lovely. Always um, worth joining us on our little um, Facebook pages as well because there's lots of little extra tip bits and behind the scenes bits and bobs that you can uh, you can see. Uh, you know, Craig does a lot of little uh, lives. Sarah's always putting on loads of um, stuff as well. I've started doing a lot more as well. Um, let me li let me little Christmas quiz which we did on the. Uh, oh, the Ben's Christmas <laughs> yeah. quiz was priceless. Hey? It wasn't hey. it. Don't, Sarah. Don't. Hey. Watching Ben's Christmas quiz, no. right? So Ben, oh, God love him. He spent all day getting the technology right so he could go live. So he had his iPad, the phone, the TV was on the background and everything like that, right? And it started, couldn't hear a word. And I had to ring him. So he's there on the on, on the TV, hundreds of people watching. Hi Sarah. I was like, can't see you, Ben. Can't see you. So I don't know what we can do. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. And you had to. So basically, you have to go back the old-fashioned way of doing it. Didn't well, you? no. What it, well, can I just say the actual story? What it was is be, <laughs> the actual story was is because I tried to do it just via my computer, but my camera wasn't working, so I had to get this software, which um, producer Laura told me how to work. But I was so engrossed in this software, which I'd not used before, um, that I, I actually had muted my mic, so everything was actually working. But in blind panic, <laughs> because the, the worst thing was is I was trying to do this quiz and I was panicking anyway, and all of a sudden Sarah rings me up, so I'm already panicking with a bit of a sweat on, and then Sarah is on the phone and I was like oh just to make things worse she's like we can't hear I'm like no no everyone's saying there's about 70 comments going we can't hear you I'm like yeah I know that we can't hear you so anyway that's what it was I was in such a blind panic because you were all going we can't hear you Sarah was on the phone going can't hear you this is rubbish what are you doing and then what it was is I didn't, I didn't to... actually say that I mean I might have inferred it in the things I was saying but I didn't actually say this is rubbish Ben but anyway um, it was me mic which was muted but when i got it going boy oh boy was it a great success and so much so we're going to do a valentine's one talking about valentine's, valentine's one, are you? yes we are we are <gasps> talking about valentine's here's some flowers there you go some nice tulips look at that does that look lovely and again i want you to have a nice looking clothes on when we do like the transitional colors stencils are brilliant for that 
And, uh, but they, my top tip is, get the little finger daubers. They were on the show yesterday. They're still on the special offer. Go and have a little look on the website. Um, yeah, absolutely. Grab those. Again, absolutely phenomenal. Loads of love coming in for that demo, by the way. Um, I love the tulip, says uh, Deb on Facebook. That would have to be my favourite demo. Uh, Christine on Facebook saying, you know, I bought the craft box and all the flower stamp and die collection. True top fan. Can't help not getting them. They are so beautiful. Uh, Vote still coming in for so I think the favourite demo so far is that daffodil that you kind of did. Uh, daffodil box belongs on the display. Voting for the carnation, says uh, Sherry. <laughs> and Rosalind on Facebook. Thank you, Magic well, I Helper. You I know. Come and have a good, good okay. look at how good they look. And, yep, you know, I will. Just in, case you've, in case you've forgotten how awesome your demos are there, you can't miss them now, Ben. <laughs> I'll, we'll have a look at those in a minute and just how awesome uh, <laughs> they are in just a few moments' time. Um, I think they're so good, you might want to put them all on the back. We can't do that. You tried well, to do that yesterday. It can only be one at a time. Well, one at a time. No, but, but, they, but they are so good, Ben. It would be a shame not to. We are thinking about, actually, I don't know if we are, although it's just me and Johnny have discussed this. We are thinking of doing like a best, like a crafter of the week. So you get to vote for your favourite demo of the week. I mean, I don't know if that then puts pressure on everybody. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, I can't remember what I was doing now, you totally put me off. Oh yeah, listen, right, we'll have a look, we'll have a look, ever the professional, we'll, we'll have a look at the, oh, hang on, okay, we'll look at the cards now. So these are the cards that you can choose from, well-oiled machine here. So these are the four demos uh, that Sarah has brought to you over the course of the show. Um, just let us know which your favourite is. The, the, oh, it um, might be the next one though. Well, it, it might, might be. be the next one that I'm going to do. You don't know. The, the daffodils proving the most favourite, I think, so far. Lots of people as well talking about the uh, the butterflies. I mean, they're gorgeous with the um, the gilding wax. I think that was the second demo that we saw. Um, and the tulips, of course. Lots of people talking about those now as well, that recent demo. Which is your favourite? Let us know in the comments. And the favourite one will be added to our Walk of Fame just behind me here. Now, very quickly, uh, do you know what? We mentioned about the excitement about the subscription description box we mentioned about the sort of sneaky peek that we were doing with the flowers but with launch party um, we always give you a preview as well and this is going to be a quick preview as well of these amazing stamps that are going to be launching on the 13th of January so that is a week tomorrow on launch day uh, these are these uh, gorgeous gorgeous stamps take a look at these um, is it me it's me isn't it yeah me, I mean, next Wednesday, yes I am. I, honestly, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, Johnny, you're here as well. And who else is here, Jan? <laughs> hey, uh, these are gonna be coming to you. Yes, a week, to a week tomorrow. Oh, Ben, shut up, for goodness sake. Um, 13th of January. Uh, absolutely brand new you're going to love them we were talking about these as well because uh, uh, we love the fact that you've got loads of like flowers hearts butterflies incorporated with these but look at that that is gorgeous the flowers within the heart all these gorgeous sentiments in there too we've got the stars there as well and also here we go take a look at this this gorgeous gorgeous butterfly all of those coming your way on a launch day a week tomorrow with me and jan it's Jan's first ever launch, you know. Oh, is it? I'm so excited for her. She's doing her first big launch. So you all got to tune in and support her next Wednesday. Go on, Jan. Go on, Jan. My second, I think it's my second show with Jan, I want to say. Yeah, second show. But I'm looking forward to it anyway. Next Wednesday. Wow. Uh, that is coming your way. Right, what are we doing now? Oh, right, yes. Birthday stamp and flowers. Let's, let me pop these out of the way and we'll, we'll recap on those demos again in just a second. But I just want to whiz through these for you really quickly because um, officially launching tomorrow, but flying out of the door right now. Listen, 25% of the kind of like sneaky peaky stock has already gone because these aren't supposed to be uh, on until tomorrow, but lots of you doing the sensible thing and grabbing them right now. The birthday month floral stamp and die collection, amazing. Um, Sarah doing the artwork, we heard from her a little bit earlier on. Wow, what a job she has done with these. I tell you what, big, big, bold statement flowers and these uh, stamps you're gonna absolutely love coloring in. Remember for each of the stamps, you've got a corresponding die. So once 
uh, you know, you've, you've used these, you've got the ability to be able to cut them out, get into them, colouring, oh wow, you're going to have so much fun. And what we love about these, that's January, your carnation, you've got one of course for every single month of the year. So if you have got a particular flower, chances are it's featured in here. Um, if you want to be able to make birthday cards for people for that particular month, it is featured in here because of course there's February, your primrose. And what we love as well, loads of you talking about the daffodil, lots of Welsh viewers this afternoon uh, saying, oh absolutely you love the the, um, the daffodil i've gone for that individually yeah perfect if you're making cards for st david's day there you go and with each of these don't forget you get that really big gorgeous image and like Sarah was kind of explaining earlier on, you know, designed for crafters really. So if you are colouring and you're kind of thinking, well, what goes where? How do I colour these? How do I get the blend in? You've got all the clues kind of drawn into the actual stamp itself. Love the fact that you get frames with this. Different sentiments too. Yes, we are calling these like your birthday month florals, but these are not just birthday sentiments. These are not just flowers. You know, pigeonholed in that particular month. It's just nice that you've got the actual flower for that month, which you can use for birthdays, which you can use for anniversaries, which you can use for celebrations, sympathy cards, whatever it might be. And you've got everyone in here. There's April, which is the daisy as we move on through uh, the beautiful lily of the valley. Again, you can see all of the corresponding dyes to go with the beautiful stamps. The artwork is phenomenal. You've got the rose for June, which again is just beautiful. I know that will be very popular individually. July is the delphinium. And then as we move into August again, gorgeous gladiolus uh, with, again, sentiments that potentially, you know, um, you might not get elsewhere. Things like stay strong, things like, you know, smile, just kind of everyday ones, things which you'll be using because I think a lot of people probably crafting right now, making cards just because, making cards to cheer somebody up. Again, these are absolutely perfect for that. That is September, which is the gorgeous aster. As we move into October again with the marigold, hopefully you're appreciating just how gorgeous this artwork is, whether you're going for the full set or whether you're going for that multi buy as well, two for 31 or two for 35. Um, November is that gorgeous chrysanthemum and then last but by no means least completing the year with yes you guessed it at uh, the poinsettia um, absolutely phenomenal it was supposed to be here tomorrow it will be here tomorrow but 25% of the sneaky peak weren't supposed to do it stock has already gone 160 pounds 187 dollars brand new you're already making a saving as you can see the usual price on the screen there less your 20 percent if you're platinum comes any even further for you 28 pounds 128 uh, pounds or 149 dollars if you want to go individually you can if you want to go for the multi you can but let's squeeze in one more demo which one you're going to be looking at sarah come on i'm going to do that gorgeous rose so it's the june if you're going for just certain months June's the rose and instead of colouring this in I thought we'd do a cheat way oh. so I've got loads of different techniques to show you tomorrow by the way we're going to be getting the colour blend pencils out tomorrow as well and doing some enhanced colouring pencils over pens so it's definitely one set you watch for one o'clock tomorrow afternoon but I'm going to do a little bit of a cheat so for the cheating you want your water reactive ink pads and I love this technique okay so we're going to put the uh, the rose down there in the middle and I'm going to use the grasshopper and the red. So a nice green and a nice red for our rose as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the green on the base bit first of all. So everything that should be in the bottom is in green. And then I'm going to put the actual rose on the top here in red. And then if you're worried about getting the right bits, look what you can do is you can pick up the red and just put it on the end there like that. And you see, so I just want it on the end there. And actually, I'm going to just make sure that all my leaves are still nice and green. Uh -huh. There we go. So I've just coloured in the um, flower with my ink. And then because we're using the rocker blocks from the Explorer kit, I'm going to stamp. Now, you won't get an overly crisp image because it's your water reactives. But I mean, it's, it's still pretty crisp. It's not bad, is it? It's not looking too bad. But then watch what happens if you catch it while it's still damp like that, OK? A little bit of a damp paintbrush. Yeah. And we can just take oh, wow. the damp paintbrush over the top yeah. and it just irritates the top of the colour and gives you that little bit of colour, but you've still got the definition of the stamp underneath. So see how easy that was? And then here we've got that transition of the red into the green beautifully well. Yeah. So again, I'm going to wash this out a little bit with the green, just dragging the colour inside. And it really is dragging. There's no, 
nothing special about it. There's no special technique. You are literally just dragging that, that brilliant. ink all the way along. How quick and easy yeah. was that to do? Told you this was a nice, quick and simple one. Okay? We'll make a demo. Brilliant. So I'm going to leave that to dry a little bit, right? And while that's drying, we'll do a nice background as well. Okay. So with the background, what I thought we'd do is get a couple of it. Can you see you've got a couple of the little buds as well? So I'll just take the little open bud and then um, let's have a look. This will do. There we go. Instead of having to use, there we go. So I can just go nice and quick. So watch this. We pick up the ink, stamp, ink, stamp, ink, stamp, turning around all the time, just creating kind of an all over background. And I'm just rotating this round. And it doesn't matter if I miss a little bit. Because what we're then going to do is just get the spritzer. Oh no, that's a bit. Oh, oh no, I want to. I want a more misty spritz than that one. I think. There you go. Oh yeah. So can you see we want oh, that yeah. spritzing to get the colours kind of going all over there. So Brilliant. I want that kind of blend on there. So that's how you're going to get the background. And actually, I, I, you need to wait for that to dry. Yeah. And then you can and then you can stamp another layer and have a one that's not a spritzed. So in the interest of time, as we're a little bit speeded up, look here at this one here, right? Aha. So this is the one that I've done. Okay. Where I've stamped, let's put you over there. So I've stamped the background pieces and spritzed them really quickly, left it to dry, and then stamped some more over the top. So can you see you've got some that are defined and some that are just like a little bit ethereal as it was. So we're going to put that on the background. And then here we go on with this. And I'm just going to bring in my tape pen, which I'm sure is staring me in the face. Yes, it is indeed. Um, and I'm just going to put... I've used just a black matte layer just to really kind of make this stand out. So there we go. So there's that beautiful background piece all standing out nicely there. All right. Then just a little bit of like corresponding paper. So okay. it can be any colour you want, really. Uh, I've just got a little bit there. I'm just going to put across the middle... And I'm just going to trim that down. Let's go right across the middle there. Yeah. Just trim that down a tiny little bit. Oh, maybe it's a tiny little bit more. And then put that across the middle. So this is just from, I can't even remember which paper pad this is from. It's just from one of our nice paper pads. Uh, just to break up that image there a little bit. Lovely. There we go. And then all I've done is that background piece there, I've also done some ovals just to draw your oh, eye cool, into the yeah. Exactly the same technique, but this time you've got the, um, can you see, you've got June or Rose or Love You, Deeper Sympathy, Everything's Rosy, Sending Love and Hugs, loads of different sentiments. I've just gone really generic with that rose in the background and I'm just going to build up some of my uh, some of my mats and layers here then ben last chance saloon to um well i think we've got a winner really i mean obviously you can take this demo into account as well but we've only got about eight minutes left on the show um so i think there there is an outright winner of your favorite demo so far which we'll announce uh, very shortly indeed must say hello to gene on youtube he says ben you are so happy at crafters companion you are appreciated well that's nice and yeah you called it i am i'm pretty happy actually yeah <laughs> how can you tell and you're definitely appreciated ah Ah, well, that's nice. Um, and I appreciate you guys as well. Ah, oh, a lot of <laughs> love. That's that awkward moment where you thought, dear, I'm yeah. going to say something Yeah, back. quick, give it, give it back. <laughs> Sound like you mean it. Uh, no, I do, I do. Um, Deb on YouTube says, love the tulips. That would have to be my favourite demo. Daffodil box belongs on the display, says Fred. Uh, Sherry says, voting for the carnation. Uh, voting for the daffodil, says Diane, and Marilyn on YouTube says, oh, Sarah, we can never forget how awesome your demos are. That's you nice. Never forget, that's it. I might have had a week off, but I think my art think it might have just got a bit more awesome in the week I've had off. Not wanting to blow my own trumpet <laughs> or anything, but I've had all this time for yeah. the creative juices to be flowing. I've yeah. had loads of time to get ready for the shows and yeah. everything. Honestly, when I say I couldn't wait to get back, I literally could not wait to get back. And that's why you've had me... Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday this week. I've had yeah. lo loads and loads to show you. No, well, we, we, we appreciate you for that. Um, Diana is saying, I have purchased a subscription box and a couple of the 3D folders and stencils from yesterday. Uh, Margaret saying, I've ordered my box. Yes, Margaret, I wouldn't want to miss it. Um, and uh, just on the favourite demos, Poppy's my favourite demo, but I really love uh, the poppies, tulips, look, there's so many of you. We'll announce the winner in just a few moments time. Obviously, I don't think we can take this last demo uh, into consideration because it's, you know, it's, it's sort of, they're not going to get enough votes in on it. There is one big winner, which I'll announce in just a few moments time. 
That's two cards you're going to have upon the wall of fame. Two cards on the wall of fame. And you see, I, I've got tomorrow morning's show as well, haven't I? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, you uh -huh. see. You see, it's going to be, it's, if, if I don't win this week, there's going to be absolute, there's going to be words. <laughs> oh, we're going to, so we're going to, so, we're, so, so that producers, we're adding little, little reams here now. So, so we'll have the cards here so we can recap on the shows, but then we'll get an overall winner. So you can vote for your favourite, favourite demo, and then we can crown, the there we've done it, we can crown our crafter of the week. <gasps> favourite demo of the week. No yes. pressure, guys, no pressure. Love it. But as I say, you've had so many shows, Sarah, that you've got a good chance of winning. Well, they, well, I would hope so. I would hope so. <laughs> Not that I'm trying to influence or anything. No. <laughs> you know, don't want to influence your thinking there. Right. I quite like that. It's yeah. a little bit different. And make sure you tune in tomorrow for the full launch day show because I've got loads more. I mean, literally, you've had two. I've got about another eight demos I want to go through with you tomorrow. There's so many techniques I can show you. And if there's anything you want to see specifically, then you've got a chance to let us know in the comments today and we can do it in the show tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, um, it may well be that you've got a, uh, you know, a particular favourite flower or if your birthday, you know, um, you want to see that flower from your birthday month, let us know in the comments and then we can kind of skew the demos uh, towards those comments on tomorrow's show, one o'clock. So really looking forward to that. We have had some uh, pictures sent in as well. So big thank you for all of these. Love it when you send in your makes. We'd love to see what you have been up to. Ah, these characters. Um, oh, oh that, was from, that was from one of the boxes, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely was. And that makes me laugh because the giraffe that you've got on the bottom right hand of the screen there, that was the one, it was one of the very first shows that I did and Craig thought that was a dragon. If you go back on my Facebook page, a crocodile rather, a crocodile. It's one of the most funny five minutes I've ever had here. Uh, but yes, Shelley, absolutely love that. Thank you. Oh, I love this. It's a little shaker card with those characters in too. That's oh, cute. Oh, brilliant. Just look at that, you see. You could be like Shelley. You could be at home trying all these different types of crafts because you've got everything you need to do that one craft in the one box. Yeah. Absolutely right. And uh, hopefully when you've got this home and you've got crafting with it, you will be, you know, in a few weeks time sending in pictures of the makes that you've made from uh, your box as well. Because uh, no doubt you will be absolutely amazing. Um, remember, let us uh, recap on that box. Box number 30. Two, 32 months uh, these have been going for and it's so great to hear that so many of you absolutely love them and how many of you have gone for all 32 of them uh, we are well over half of the stock of your box has gone in our launch show y you will be able to see this again we'll feature on second chance Sunday uh, but as I said my, my take on this is get it now whilst you can don't be in that mad rush you know when we get down to sort of limited stock on it uh, because you can get it now get it in plenty of time uh, and of course this will be out to you very soon. Um, obviously, you've got the congestion at the ports currently, but as soon as this hits the warehouse, which it will do in the next few days, uh, this will be out to you and you can get crafting away with it. Uh, and we know you're going to absolutely love it. Remember, 300 elements, stamps, there's embossing folders, the 3D embossing folders, stencils, ribbons, card blanks, envelopes. Uh, there's the self adhesive dew drops, there's gems, there's cards, there's papers. It's all in there. Uh, you're going to absolutely love it. $24.99 or $24.99. Um, and of course, less than 20% if you're a platinum member, comes down to, what, £20, doesn't it? 19.99. Wow, just love it. Right, thank you, big thank you to everybody uh, who sent in messages. I, I by no means got through all of the messages today, uh, but I, I've tried to read as many of them as I can. Lots of, um, lots of uh, votes coming in for Sarah's favourite make. I would say that the uh, butterfly one has proved hugely popular, absolutely gorgeous. I think that was Sarah's uh, second demo of the day, the, uh, the Gilding Wax, that one's proved very popular. The one which you saw um, fairly recently with these gorgeous tulips, I would say probably came in second place, but by far and away, the winner as voted for by the viewers of Crafters TV, the daffodil. Lots yeah, of love for the daffodil, it is, Sarah. It is lovely. It is lovely, that daffodil, isn't it? It's just the colouring. It's the fact that she's illustrated those flowers with big open spaces for you to colour. They are made to colour. In fact, get your, point your finger out. Get your pens, get your pencils, whatever it is, out. Colour along with me in the show tomorrow while we're watching. Love that. Yes, let's do it. Uh, this one I'm going to pop uh, back here. There we go. With, uh, what was he called again? Dexter or Digby? No, is that, that's the dog, Digby, Dexter. wasn't it? Digby. Digby the dog, Digby the dog. 
There you go, so Sarah has now got two there on our, uh, our walk of fame and uh, there'll be more added to it tomorrow. Listen, thank you so much. Make sure you grab this collection and yes, we'll be back. So what, one o'clock tomorrow, are we? One o'clock, yes, and it's a full launch day show. So, like I said, I've got loads of techniques. The big one that I want to focus on showing everyone is how to do your colouring with your tri-blend pens and then enhancing the colouring with your colour blend pencils on top using your blending solution. I get asked about that technique a lot, so I thought we'll do some work on that technique as well. I'll touch again on how to do some of the quick and easy cards with it. We'll do a little bit more in-depth colouring so that you guys get a chance to chat to Ben and he has to work really hard while I'm in the <laughs> colouring coma. Um, but it's it's a whole two hour show dedicated just just to those beautiful birthday birthday month stamps i feel like today's just been a bit of a sneaky peek preview of them tomorrow is like the real deal absolutely that, i mean but it has been a big sneaky peek isn't it that has been the biggest sneaky peek ever uh, but listen yes make sure you join us for that love sarah's idea of um, you know joining us getting your pens out and having some fun with us as well and also don't forget keep those comments coming in on facebook and youtube anything that particularly that you want to see uh, in more detail maybe you want to see the flower from your birth month uh, in more detail get those comments in on facebook and youtube uh, and we'll certainly look to feature those over the course of these shows tomorrow busy old day for me i'm going i'll probably go straight to bed when i go home now because i've got to get up you for, for you better Ben and I are running at 5.30 in the morning. We're out running. Yes. Because well, you, when you're in lockdown, Ben, you're allowed to do outdoor exercise with one other person. And I think if it's pre 6 a.m. on the morning, it counts as like double, bon du double bonus brownie points. And uh, lucky old me that I got stuck with Zara. To do my uh, to do my running with. No, I'm lo I'm looking forward to it really. Sarah, <laughs> thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Sarah, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, have a brilliant rest of the day, and we will catch you tomorrow here on Crafters TV. Bye for now. Thank you.